access granted. Oi, oi. How's it going? Ryan, Seven, I hope you're both well. Um, how does my, uh, mic sound to you? The levels. Um, I, uh, I put the gain up on the filter and I've turned the volume of the mic down. Uh, it, it sounds good, does it, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, because I wonder if that would help with the, uh, it, it peaking on the meter. Um, yeah, so it sounds a bit loud to me still in my ears, but that's fine. It's not a problem. Uh, <laughs> what matters is it sounds good to you guys. How you doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry I'm a bit late. It's just one of those things, but we'll make up for it. We always do. Um, good morning, Seven. I hope you're not too sleepy. Uh, the Space Force, my God. I don't. They're an official thing now. <laughs> yeah, I've seen their logo, though. Um... um I'll pull it up in a second. Because uh, it's... Uh, I assume I can find it. Here we go. Um, Space Force official logo. I need to be able to spell. Oh, okay. Did they change it, maybe? It looks like Star Trek. It's like they're like Star Trek. I was showing something else. I don't know. Unless I changed it, or what I, I was shown was uh, something different. Yeah, I'm, I was showing something different, obviously. Google's not showing me it. It's showing one. Yeah, maybe they changed it. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, interesting stuff. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, the, the aliens. Wow. Uh, Brian, I wonder if you... Uh, you seem to know uh, not more than you're letting on, but they're. Um, I feel it's out of the bounds of the Isnib show, at least at the minute for the foreseeable future. Lupo, I'll see you there, bro. How you doing? How are you well, sir? Uh, I can I can say this: there is absolutely far more going on behind the scenes than we know, or at least is um, perceived by the mainstream narrative that is uh, portrayed. And, you know, 99% of the uh, of humanity subscribe to. Definitely. Definitely. I don't have all the answers. But, uh, well, yeah, maybe we'll get into that another time. Uh, <laughs> but it seems maybe, um, you know, maybe Ryan, you've... Uh, it's a, you said yesterday, <laughs> birds are like little robots. Um, I don't know if I go that far, and I feel like you were joking, but uh, maybe you weren't. I don't know. But this it's shizzle going down, folks, and it's only accelerating. 
Yeah. We're going to have to overhaul the whole channel, uh, Ryan. <laughs> Basically. It's, uh... The, um... It's very unfortunate that the term conspiracy theorist has been, is, is forever tainted. The majority of human beings kind of just go, oh, just roll their eyes. And you go, oh, yeah, there we go. But the um, thing is, conspiracies exist. We know this to be fact. This is a factually, historically proven. So to say that, the, oh, there used to be conspiracies in the past, but there, there aren't any now. What now when we have the most number of human beings on the planet, the greatest, the highest degree of technology that we recall, at least, um, you know, the, 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 the greatest amount of government control of the populace, uh, great, you know, in all, all facets. No, there's no, there's no conspiracies. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. We shall see. Anyway, <laughs> um, you never agree with anyone. I can. Well, if you say that, Seven, all I have to do is say uh, the opposite of what I want to hear. Then you disagree with me. Then you're telling me what I want to hear. So, you know. Um, <clears throat> because, there's lots of, because there's three times more water on the planet, Seven, you know. Um, <laughs> it Twitch terms of service speedrun. Yeah, I, I get in trouble. I'm sure, Ryan. Depending on what you say and what you say it about. Um, could disprove nearly anything. I don't know, Seven. That's. I uh, maybe I'll t I'll take more less of you know less of a hard line approach. I take it from the point of view you know because people will say oh you d d do your research do this and you know that's um that's all well and good but I could look up. Yeah, I could do any amount of research on any given particular um, issue or topic or um, theory and find, you know, bucket loads of information in support or against that. Okay, now you have to pass which of those sources are credible. How do I know? As an individual. As an individual. Now, I'm not an idiot. I'm certainly not a genius, but I'm not an idiot. Um... Who to believe? What to believe? Listen to everything. Believe nothing. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> hey, look, Seven. I'll put you to the test maybe one day, my dear. We shall see. But yeah, how you doing, Lupo? I hope you're well, buddy. We're just... <laughs> Would, uh, uh, yeah, I do hope you're well, young man. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't know what it's worth. I, I did... I finally... Um, your auto-hosting list. I don't know how much that matters. People go, yeah, host. And it's like, people really go to like somebody's offline channel and then start watching the person who's been hosted. I don't know. I feel like not. But I added you on there anyway, Lupe. It's a bit overdue. There's, a, there's like several people who um, I consider myself to be like good friends with and supporters of. Uh, there you go. Okay, Lupe, you do. <laughs> if you ever happen to come here when you're streaming, you might see yourself on there. I don't know. I was like, yeah, why well, is Lupe not on there? And there's a couple of other people. I, I had Barrel on there. Um, I don't know. I had a few, uh, a few other random people. Um, you know, because why not? not? If you if you uh, like and respect someone who's out there, um, It's gone. Never mind. I saw I just had another little look for it. Um Yeah, no, the one that I'd Hey Metapod. The the one I'd uh been shown. I don't know, maybe it was like a a made up one. I don't know, I don't know. It's basically had like some It had like a, a freaking uh a pharaoh, like you know, Egyptian pharaoh, Tutankhamun 
face on it. Um, and you're like, why, why has it got Egyptian chisel on the Space Force logo? Well, it's the same reason you've got a pyramid on the, uh, you know, $1 bill. Same reason. You know, let's, like, as I say, let's not get into that right now. Ryan knows. Uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> do you think so, Lupo? Do you think it, do you think it makes that much difference? I don't know. Um, anyway, I've, I've done. I've done it. There you go. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Fair enough, buddy. Well, there you go. I'm glad I've got you on there then, for what it's worth. Uh, how you doing, Metapod? You all right, bud? How's your um uh? God, what's it? Uh, tower of Fantasy? Fantasy Tower? I can't. I can't. No. Tower? Is, it, is that Tower? I can't freaking remember. Did you have fun on your game, Metapod? That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, and that was the one where you've got your dude. You gave him a... Uh, there's no stashes in the character creator. And you're like, what the... F and it's like, come on. You have to cater to Metapod with these games. He needs a, he needs a, he needs a strong stash on his character. So you... Uh, <laughs> you improvise got like a a tattoo <laughs> hey it works tower of fantasy there we go i'm terrible Mal. there you go uh, <laughs> i knew i thought i knew i, had, I knew i was 90 percent sure it had tower in it and then i was then i second guessed myself for a second i was like i didn't see him in a tower <laughs> maybe, maybe like that. i think uh i think a, a few people have been playing it actually um um yeah, it, it can't hurt, Seven. Yeah, it definitely can't hurt. Um, <clears throat> uh, oh, okay, Lupo. So, presumably, that's more people who are currently hosting. Well, you know, I don't go out of my way to manually host people. Um, and, uh, you know, I get a bit put off anytime some I find myself on somebody's stream and they're like, Oh, it's it's uh, it's my birthday. It's this special event. It's our charity thing. Everybody host. It's like, um, don't tell me what to do. You don't know me, <laughs> please. <laughs> you know, so I, yeah, I've just got my uh, list of streamers I support, and I've got them on the I host list. And um, you know, for however busy Twitch is, it seems that no more than the three or four of those streamers on the list ever stream at the same time. So. You know, it could come up. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm terrible, Lupo. If if somebody's if somebody's telling me to do something, um, even if it's in my best interest or for my own good, I like my instinct is to rebel against it. <laughs> Someone's like, um, here, take is take this winning lottery ticket. I'm like, don't, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, you know, they have to be like, would you like? This winning lottery ticket. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll go for that. If they're like, oi! I'm like, no, oi, no! <laughs> Mentally ill. I think you guys understand that. Um, <laughs> mm. That's the only problem with uh, those kind of games, isn't it, Meta? Where um, you've got that, you've got, you're got praying to RN Jesus when you're playing the game. You know, you get your little like loot box thing or however it's implemented in in that game, and you're like, let's see if we get a good thing, and the game goes fuck you, and you're like, ah, oh. okay, so try again next time. But uh, it, it doesn't matter, does it? As long as you're having fun, and that's the thing in those games, you might get like you get a better weapon, you get a better item. Does it stop your enjoyment of the game? It's just like um, it's more like a quick dopamine hit, isn't it? Um, and the thing with dopamine is the more you get, the more you want. So, uh, Scotty, do what's best for me. Oh, actually, Scotty, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe that'd be useful. I was going to message you this, Scotty. Scotty, I, I sh have, have you post, you, you asked for my address recently, you're going to post me a few bits related to, uh, Calm Violence, Golden Ticket, I assume. Uh, have you already sent that, buddy? Uh, and if not, could you do me a favour? Um... If it's not if it's not a hassle to you, I don't want to hassle you. I can maybe find one on eBay. I don't know. Let me have a look. You got some new Wi-Fi, Lupo. God damn, bro. Nice, very nice. Is it? I assume it was much needed. Um, 
Let me have a look here. Uh, eBay. Okay, so, uh, I could buy one, but they're, um, aren't a little bit expensive. Not expensive. <laughs> they're, they're far, they're like five times the actual, five, four, four to five times the actual value of what the, the, the it is. <laughs> um, don't do a goddamn thing I say. Okay. Um I I can't I can't uh, guarantee I'll stick to that score. It depends what you say, buddy. Uh I'll take everything individually. Um <clears throat> Interesting seven. Curious. Our, the AI is here. We're in the matrix, folks. Don't uh don't pretend we're not. Holy hell, Lupo. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you know, but <laughs> me too. Me too, uh, Scotty. But um I feel that most uh most people do not. Like, um when oh, we raided um Mir the other week. Uh, on Sean's recommendation, and I think it was yeah, it was Mir's six year yeah six year stream anniversary, and uh, a little way into it, she was like, um, oh yeah, um, a, a bunch of people are gonna be turning up soon because uh, I'm gonna be on the front page of Twitch, and I was like, oh okay, well firstly I was like wondering, can you can you literally pay for that? Can you pay for like ad space essentially on Twitch? Yo, Twitch, I want to be on the, your front page to, like, not just for your recommendations for people, but for every single person who goes to the Twitch's homepage. I want to be on the front page uh, and uh, for, for one hour between these times. And Twitch goes, yes, that is X amount of... That's $200, please. Or whatever. I don't know how it works. But it was, it was funny how it worked, Scotty, because it's literally, when it went live... Uh, Mia's viewers went, I think she was sat on about 80 uh, just after we'd raided. And suddenly she had 4,000 4, viewers like that. They just dinged, they just, the view account just shot up. Uh, so this, my point being is clearly a lot of people who use are Twitch users who will just click on whatever Twitch recommends to them. So you might not, and I might not. But we certainly ain't the majority, are we, sir? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're, um, we ain't your average, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> an extra quid, Lupo. My God, I think that sounds like they were uh, just, just a uh, bottleneck in your throttle in your connection. <laughs> um, yeah. So we've been on the front page of Twitch, but only not the whole, not the the true front page that everyone gets but the like as recommended just randomly popped up we're playing i think we're playing borderlands or something so people are like i was like, oh yeah how'd you find the channel today and they're like oh yeah you're on the front page and i was like what what uh i've seen um i've seen like friends on there but that's like catered the algorithms catered to me specifically so that kind of makes sense doesn't it um but i assume it means the front page is like that top banner the scrolling big picture um but um you know i don't know i don't know how it works but um um wow you think it looks at all those things seven yeah the length of you yeah because they're all factors aren't they so for example you could look at say um i've been in streams where especially when stuff is happening exciting things are happening or whatever um chat is filled with emotes just loads and loads and loads of emotes that's not really us is it we get a few you know get an odd emote here or there someone's like says hello they chuck an emote uh there's an over nine thousand. someone chucks a few emotes you know that kind of thing mostly we're just text right um plus we do long streams so that makes sense that 
Twitch is aware of what length of time or streams that people are watching. So somebody who only watches um, 10 minutes or they'll watch a whole of a two-hour stream. And then they'll, they'll recognize people who uh, watch a whole of a six-hour stream. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting, Seven. I wonder. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I wonder, Lupo, how much it is. I, 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 should we, oh, just do some research. But, um... Yeah, Scotty, what I was, <laughs> was going to ask, buddy, uh, as a favour. Uh, I should probably not ask you live on stream put you on the spot, so I'll message you. Uh, <laughs> remind me to message you. Um, there you go. H how much to be on uh, Twitch front page now not the boost feature yeah how'd you get featured on the front page of twitch um don't you love articles that just filled with words and say absolutely nothing Love it. Yeah, I don't know what I thought. Can't find it. I'm not. Can't be bothered to go looking. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Scotty. I'll try to remember. Uh, Yeah, that's true. This is true. So when I first started uh, streaming two years, almost two years ago, so on, uh, I think everyone did. We had everyone had this idea because you know everyone I know we're all getting affiliated at roughly the same time and stuff like that. And um, everyone's like, okay, yeah, we're affiliated. What's the next step? Oh, partner. What do you need for partner? Oh, you need seventy-five average viewers uh, over a one-month period. Excellent. And I think for a long time, a lot of people had it in their head that that's uh that's the criteria to become a partner that's not that's your uh that's your that's your application that's your bare minimum qualification um hey yo twitch uh, i've got 74 average viewers now nope. jog on 75 average viewers over a month then you can apply then twitch goes nah nah you are not good enough <laughs> are they I, I think you know as seven says you it's not done on the algorithm. It's like human beings who work at Twitch. Look at your channel. Look at your analytics. Um, and uh, and it's like a job application. You literally have to justify to them. Say, hey, I'm Isnib. I would be a great Twitch partner because A, B, C, and D. And also, I have very strong knees. So if you need me to, it'd be fine. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm being coarse been really coarse so i'm sorry i apologize for that but you know it's you can't be like yo twitch i'm better than you so you know you <laughs> you have to be uh <laughs> strong knees are very important this is true ryan uh, <laughs> um you know you, you have to be you have to come at them humble even if you know maybe you know because i i criticize twitch sometimes on stream especially with their new um ad policy and stuff uh you know, but you have to be like, yo, I think I could do a good job of that. But I think it's going to be a while before I or anybody we know are, are going to be necessarily in that position where we're, um, we're trying to apply for that. You know, uh, and I think most partners they have to apply like several times. And, you know, if you if your average is just barely scraping that 75 average, nah, they're less inclined. They're more inclined if you're like rocking 120 average, something like that. Um, yeah, it's weird. It's it's just the it's just a sign of the time. Seven, you know, ten years ago, was it even going then? I don't know. I guess ten years ago, you know, there was just less streamers, wasn't there? There was just 
less streamers. Oh, let's look on this Twitch, Justin TV. Um, who should we watch? Which of the six channels should we watch? You know what I mean? So that's how it was. And then people get you get invested, don't you? You get invested in a person and what they're doing, uh, and then you stick around. I've seen like real long time streamers, and they'll have people sub to them, and it'd be like uh, sub badge, like five year sub badge. I'm like, what the? Damn, good on you. Um, as long as you're not testing them, Scotty, with um, a sledgehammer or anything, I, th I think we should be all right. Um, yeah. Yeah, because that's the thing, Lupo. You could have, uh, you know, 500 average viewers every single stream. But then they'll also look at how much money you're bringing into the platform. And they're like, oh, you're, you're not really bringing much in. And you're like, yeah, you know, I'll tell my viewers not to bother about money. And they're like, yeah, well, that's not a good practice, is it? You know, they'd... Because that's their bottom line, isn't it, Lupo? It's, it, you know... A, a, a channel that's got 100 average viewers but brings in more money than a channel that has a 1,000 average viewers is technically more valuable to Twitch. Do you see what I'm saying? You know, if... Um, you could probably, like, argue various cases. Do you know what I mean? Like, if... Um, even if you're under the criteria, if you had, like, one viewer who was, like, some, you know, uh, Saudi oil baron... Uh, <laughs> prince guy and he was like yes here's a donation uh yeah you know, oh, i'm dropping i'm dropping one million gift subs do you know what I mean? and, and like going like a crazy man twitch would pay attention to that and they would see the value of that and they'd probably they'd go out of your way their way to support you even if you didn't meet the criteria um probably i expect um you know so it's all it's all relative isn't it um yeah ex exactly lupo Exactly, you've got 500 average viewers, but you, they're like, oh, where's well, all your subs? And you're like, ah, oh, yeah, no, what subs, whatever. And I, well, like, that's not whatever to us, because we take half the money of all those. So, you know, and that would be the worst if I, like, were in that position and I applied and they were like, yo, Isnib, we, we like you, we like, you know, we think you're a good guy, but we need you to push trying to get more money out of your viewers. I'd be like, you need to push off, right off. I wouldn't say that because obviously, but I'd be like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird trying to do this as a a business because business, the sole purpose of business, is to make money. But <laughs> you know, I I don't I don't look at you guys as viewers. You are viewers, but you're. Uh, Oh, my buddies. You know. I'm never going to go to a buddy and be like, yo, buddy. How about you just give me some money? Bro, just give me some money. Oh, what for is? Oh, no, 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 re no real reason. Just because we're friends, right? Fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, language. God, I've, um, I know I've started swearing a bit more. I think <laughs> I started the channel trying to be family friendly. And I was very careful about not swearing. I think as time has slowly progressed, uh, and I don't want to be like, you know, one of these Call of Duty streamers, which is like, F this, F that, F E F E F. F is my favorite word sound. Do you like the F word? Yeah, it's like a bomb. I'm going to drop it on you. And they do the F bomb song, and you're like, now you've just been silly, mate. Um, but I don't know. I feel like uh, the more I stream, the more I relax into myself, uh, and I can. Um, you know, just uh, be a bit more flexible. We're all adults here. And if you're not, I can teach you how to be an adult. No, I can't. I f <laughs> exactly, exactly, Scott. Yeah, no, but I, I said, Lupo, I don't remember who in the streamer was, but um, I've uh, I've definitely got into somebody's stream uh, with being taken along with somebody's raid. And they're like, uh, you know, uh, the streamer's like, oh, yeah, hey, thanks for the raid. And whatever game they were playing it, I don't know, Dark Souls or Bloodborne or Call of Duty or you know, whatever it was. I think in the first 30 seconds of the raid going through, that I think they said fuck like 10 times. They're like, fuck this, fuck that. Oh, for fuck's sake, I can't fuck. I'm like, I don't have a problem with that word. I think it's a very powerful and good word. But if you use it that often, 
it's it's not it one it loses its power and two it's just not it's not pleasant for me for, you know i don't want to i don't want to hear you cussing in my ear who are you i don't even know you how about you introduce yourself first how about we become friends first <laughs> do you know what i mean it's, uh, it's just it's just like a weird vibe do you know what i mean i don't know i don't know yeah i i i'm i'm just uh i guess i'm um just trying to find that balance lupo where uh i'm just trying to be myself which i'm pretty good at it's like the only thing i'm good at <laughs> but um not not self-centering in my you know in my uh natural expression of who i am and how i react to things i think uh i think that's important to do I think there's a, a lot of self-censorship going on in the world nowadays because people are scared to be uh, attacked. Um, you know, people um, are worried about giving their true feelings on things um, because they're worried somebody's going to get upset and then someone's going to come after them. You know, the witch, the witch hunt's going to come after them and they're, they're the new bad guy because they, because they express themselves. I don't know. Weird stuff is going on, but I'm pretty much removed from it. As long as I'm here and I'm happy and you guys are here and you're happy, that's all that matters. Um, yeah, yeah, Seven with the emotes. Yeah, and you'd know about this because you make emotes. Um, I've seen some that... Um, I, you know, I saw someone get an emote banned because uh, it had like a gun in the emote. You, you no, know, it's, it's like um, a classic emote, isn't it? Jesh, how you doing, Jesh? Welcome in, buddy. Um, the classic emote with a, a, someone with a little gun and that like that psycho face, the uh, blank expression face. Like, I'm gonna shoot you. Uh, and I think even this one's like a, a water pistol. And they, like, oh, they got that banned. And I was like, I've seen freaking hundreds of those you know, gun emotes on on Twitch. Why did that one get banned and all the others are fine? And it's probably like you say, Seven, somebody made a complaint about that one, but not about the others. Um, you know, and there's some that are a bit, um, you know, a bit boob and ass. There's some, it's an ass emote. <laughs> or it's a boob emote. And uh, wait, where'd you draw the line? I'd, I'd just say, you know, I don't know. It's, it's a weird. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. If it is seven, you, it's it's hard work. Yeah, I could I could do myself some favors. Maybe stream less one day, less a week, and spend the day doing video editing. But I'd also, uh, you know, I'd rather uh, hang myself instead. So, <laughs> um, I just I can't oh, video editing. I I don't know. I'd just rather play some of that. Um make money with um a five finger fillet like in uh red dead that'd be good um <clears throat> oh bless <laughs> um uh yeah no i've got an awkward name seven <laughs> um yeah i don't know some i i i see successful streamers who are in the stream coaching uh a area of things their content is helping other streamers get better rather than just doing their own stream uh <laughs> and um they say you need to you need short you need to be active on all platforms i need sh short 60 second content i need to put it out everywhere in the world and upload to everywhere every single day and i'm like okay you could do all that you could do all that and it certainly wouldn't hurt but it might still not make any difference whatsoever um that's why you know if um god it's chuck it chuck it to the wind let's see where the dice fall i roll those dice i roll those dice all day, day long that's fine whatever bring it on um i'd rather spend my time doing what i love and then if nothing comes of it, 
I'm going, okay, well, at least I'm good time of it. Then if I make myself do some utter bullshit that is soul-destroyingly not fun for me, and I, and I don't get anything out of it, then I'm just going to hate myself, aren't I? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and even if it, there was some success game out of it, I'd be like, okay, oh, wait, I made, I made it, folks. Was it funny? No, I hated it. But how am I going to feel then? You, just, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Who's... Who's, uh, who's this lady with the sword? I I'm a fan of swords. Something like, um... Looks like something, um... Geralt the Riv would have. Um... <clears throat> yeah, Lupo, I, I just... It's not... I know the YouTubers who are more more YouTuber than streamer. They spend so much time video editing. You, you spend, for the time recording a video, you spend like five, ten times longer doing the editing. And you got to cut this here and check the audio there and pull this in here, get this image, get this, you know, chop that there, transition that there, do, do this, do that. Oh, there's my finished product. Oh, wait, no, it's not good. I need to change a few bits here. Let's go back and do that. Um... You know, and I know the, the the ones who do that all the time, they get to the point where they're like, here's my guide on how to streamline your video editing. So they're like, they got a high click rate. They got a high type rate. They're like, they set up little shortcuts for themselves. And it's like, now, you, now you're just in the factory line, aren't you? Now you're just in the factory line. Is that fun? Are you having fun there? Is that good? To, are you having a good time of that? Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to play Parasite Eve instead. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play Red Dead Redemption 2 and hang out with some cool people and talk to them. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, but that's not business. Uh, well, you know, whatever. Whatever. Bi you know, freaking business. Whatever. You can't take your money to the grave, folks. You cannot. You do not take any of your possessions with you. And we're all going to die one day. Hopefully not for a long, long time. But, you know, what I'm saying, if <laughs> when I'm on my deathbed... Assuming I, you have, you know, you have a long, drawn-out death, <laughs> and you don't just like get run over, but one day, um, or we'll just have like a brain hemorrhage and drop down dead. Um, what have you got? What well, you got? You got your memories. You got your memories. Do I want memories of video editing? No, <laughs> no, I do not. I do not want that. <laughs> I want to think back on uh, these games we played together and be like, oh, do you remember that time? Do you remember that Dragon King slice? Do you remember that over 9,000? Yeah, uh, whatever, whatever it may be. Mm, mm. Oh, that's coffee out of the way. Never mind. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, God. One made me... Uh, I've mentioned this before. So one made me frustrated. She was like, Hey, guys. We, we are here to make money. Uh... And you need to do this, this, and this to make money because, uh, huh, you gotta make your money because God knows I don't want to be doing this when I, when I'm, uh, 50 years old. I was like, and I found some of her, I thought I found some of her previous videos useful. And as soon as she said that, I was like, it, it just suddenly dawned on me. I was like, bitch, you only care about the money. You don't care about your viewers. You don't care about your audience. They are a means to an end for you. You don't care about video games. You just... You don't like being a streamer. If I won the freaking lottery tomorrow, I might take a bit of time off to get set up, to get, you know, get my life in order, sort out my debts, maybe get some more tattoos. Definitely get some more tattoos. Uh, <laughs> maybe, like, buy my own house. You know, stuff like that. Maybe sprinkle a bit of sh sugar to my friends and fam. But then I'm coming back with a vengeance. I'm not, I'm then I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm doing, this is, this is fun for me. I want to be here. This is not a means to an end. Find out loud. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I was like, bitch, you're gone. You're useless. You, you're a waste of space, my dear. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think, but uh, Seven, here's my problem. You say go to three popular streamers in what you want to do. All I want to do is, is me. There's nobody out there doing what I'm doing. I, I don't know. I, I, maybe there are. Maybe there are. I don't know. I don't think that. I don't think so, though. Um, it's hard to put into words what 
Uh, it's Nip. Tell us what you do on your Twitch. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. And it's fine. Uh, <laughs> yes, some people are ridiculous. Um, yeah, exactly, Seven. So I'm like, my in, in, in essence, I'm my own worst enemy. And maybe I always have been. And maybe I always will be. And so I... You know, I'll tell you this. One of me is going to win. <laughs> it's going to be me. I'm going to battle myself to the death for eternity. Um, so be it. Chips fall where they may. Follow them snake eyes. Hey, Twigsy! Twigsy! <laughs> I can't help it. They get me going, Twigsy. Um, and I just start talking. And then here we are. I won't go, I won't go as rant as long as I did yesterday, but... You know, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and it's a problem, Seven. It's a problem. Um, yeah, no, exactly. Exactly. It's, um, yeah, this is true, Seven. If you look at, like, the top 10... I, th I think I mentioned this yesterday. If you look at the top 10, top 20 uh, Twitch streamers, either in terms of, like, viewership or, or revenue or whatever you're looking at, whatever metric you're using, you will see commonalities between them, won't you? You will see almost like maybe you start to see like a formula appear. You're like, oh, uh, I see a lot of similarities here. You know, they're, I'm sure they're their own individuals <clears throat> in their private lives, but what they are on stream, what they are on their channel, maybe there's a lot of similarities. Uh, and it's like, you know, I can't. That's what I'm here in the first place. I, I can't. I can't adapt to other people. I can't fit in with other people if it requires me to uh, negotiate or sacrifice any part of myself. It's a problem. Don't ever stop. Bless you, Twigsy. That's that's my plan, sir. I don't want to. I really, really don't want to. We'll see how it goes. But how are you doing, Twigsy? How's your morning so far? You just got to work, have you? Brayden! All right there, young man. How are you doing? Are you all right? How's your when Wednesday? I don't even know what... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I know what day it is. Um, but yeah, I don't know, Seven. It's, um... I don't know. It's like, um... It's like if you, uh, start a business in a particular market, it's kind of it's sensible to look to your competitors uh, and see what they do and see what... and replicate what their success is. Uh... But as you can tell, I'm not a businessman. <laughs> I'm just a man. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a problem. I, I, the, the true problem, Seven, isn't that. The true problem is I don't see the problem as a problem. <laughs> That's the real problem. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I guess that's it, isn't it? I, you know... And, I don't like to make sweep, sweeping judgments on humanity, but um, there, there is like the popular thing appeals to the lowest common denominator. That's why here in the UK, uh, things like you know, football's really popular. Uh, East Enders, you don't know what that is, American folks. It's like soap opera, serial soap opera TV, really trashy drama TV that has several episodes a week, and the storyline has been running for, what, since the 70s? <laughs> it's like been running, running for like 50-plus years, uh, and it's real, real, real terrible. It's not interesting. The characters are terrible. Nothing fun happens. But people watch it. People eat it up because it appeals to the lowest common denominator. Uh, Any you know, things that um require thought, things that require effort, they're not things that appeal to the masses. They want the easy thing. They want the digestible thing. They want the thing that doesn't require effort. Uh, you know. That's a problem. <laughs> the show of all shows. <laughs> Seven's like, oh, I like EastEnders. Um, I can understand. I de don't get me wrong, Seven. I understand the appeal of um, a TV show that's long running. I'm a One Piece fan. You know, that's been on the go for 23 years. So <laughs> I, I do get that. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, Towie, do oh my god. We can't all be perfect, Seven, eh? Um, 
You good though, are you, Braden? I'm pleased to hear that, sir. I'm very well. I'm very well. We've got to start a little bit uh, late today, but that's fine. No, this is true. Um, Twigsy, thank you, and I appreciate that, sir. I, I'm uh, not trying to set a trend, but uh, I'm just trying to do me, and then if a trend were set, I'd be quite happy with that. But... Um... I don't know. I think you need more eyeballs to to get the trend going. Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it makes me wonder, Seven. Um, like, uh, and this is no, you know, and this is no knock on female streamers who are, you know, physically attractive and they use their sex appeal to build an audience. I have absolute respect for that. If I had that, I would do that. Uh, I respect it. But I wonder about the viewership in terms of you know if you were one of um you know amaranth's dedicated viewers it's probably you, you're almost certainly male you're almost certainly heterosexual and you're almost certainly physically attracted to her and you're there because she's physically attractive and she's you know you're like oh she's got a nice body the funny thing is that i don't that i can't really wrap my head around is you can you know you can the internet's there the internet has everything for your eyeballs and ears and senses to engage with. Surely you can find the equivalent or superior elsewhere. I guess they feel that with it being a Twitch stream, a live stream, there's some kind of um, personal connection there. Even if, you know, how do you stand out in a crowd of like 10,000 other dudes who are all kind of the same as you? And feel like you've got a personal connection with the person on the screen. I don't know. I don't know. I guess, but I don't. I guess it's from my point of view. I don't see the that does. That's not something that appeals to me specifically. I have a connection with all you guys, but I mean, in terms of uh, attractive ladies, maybe it's uh, maybe it's personal for me because I've not had the best experiences. So I'm like, I always like resent it. <laughs> I'm I'm. The, Yo, yo, beautiful, sexy lady, I ain't coming to your stream and giving you any amount of attention. Because <laughs> you wouldn't give me any amount of attention, so who do you think you are? <laughs> I don't, uh, subconsciously, I'm not actually thinking that. Just, <laughs> does that make sense? Um, but, you know, I'm not hating on it. Um, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Atheline, how you doing, my dear? Sorry, I was just... They got me ranting, Aff. You know how it is. How you doing, Aff? Are you all right? Did you have um? Did you have a good evening last night? How are you feeling today? Good morning to you. Um, a train wreck in a spray tan. <laughs> There's something to that, Seven, isn't there? Looking at like um, whether it's like you know documentary or TV show, you're looking at other people, real people, who are like more crazy, more fucked up, more weird than we are. It's definitely appeal to that. I feel on some level it makes us feel like we've got our shit together a bit more. Does to me. Um, oh yeah, this tune. It's quite subtle, but I don't know where this game's from. Um, no, exactly. Exact. No seven. Yeah, I respect her greatly, and it's not that she hasn't put the effort and time in. It's not her, you know. I respect her. It's the um, it's her viewership. I'm like, I, you know, like if we if uh, I could sit if I could interview a hardcore fan of hers on the show and be like, I'm not here to judge. I'm just want to understand. Um, but I don't know if they like a super like. Yeah, I, I guess I've never been anybody's fanboy. I've never. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, uh, that's what I don't understand. Um, incognito mode. <laughs> Fair enough, Braden. Um, yeah, stalk. Yeah, I've, I've heard of um, Twixie. Yeah, like some uh, some Twitch streamers getting like th like the threats and stalkery kind of uh, act. You know, uh, behavior, and it's like wow, wow. You know. I don't know. It's um, it's oh, 
It's all a whole thing. Um, you're tired. Aff, you don't need to be up. It's like, what, 7 o'clock in the morning? You can go back to bed, you know? You don't have to be here for just for us. Um... But yeah, did you have a good time? Because I know you've been taking a break from it recently. Okay. And that's the thing. Yeah, there's definitely exceptions, Af. And if you appreciate their content, um, that's all that matters. You know, you, what I'm saying is if someone is like a, a fan of Amaranth and they're li just literally genuinely like, oh yeah, her content is really, really good. Then I'm like, well respect to you i respect you not that i disrespect anyone but anyway i'm not <laughs> sure how we got to this anyway i think the rant is over i think i've ranted enough I'm bloody hour in ryan's like get on with the game for fuck's sake is i'm like yes ryan we shall parasite eve what a fantastic and wonderful game it's um it's not perfect it's a little bit janky in um you know the controls uh you know Kind of almost every aspect of the game has a slight janky edge to it. That's more because it's a product of its time. Um, because not only is it a PS1 game, but it's a PS1 game that's very, you know, really rather original. It's kind of trying, it's experimenting. Square, they're, 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 you know, this is their hallmark, isn't it? This is what they do. They're like, we've got an idea. We're going to take a chance. They don't like to play safe. They're going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh, no one's done that before. Well, we got that. We did it first. So for that, Square, taking my proverbial, tipping my proverbial hat to you, uh, folks. Um, you got to go to work. Don't do that, Af. I guess you need to do that, don't you, my dear? But um, god damn, what time you got to be there? And are you doing like double or, or some late shift or some bullshit like that? Uh, well, take care of yourself, Af. Whatever you need to do, my dear. You know you've got more support. Um, yeah, so anyway, we're, uh, but overall, it's a fantastically uh, evocative and uh, immersive game. Absolutely loving it. So thank you, Ryan. I do appreciate you choosing it for us, buddy. Um, on day five of day six, presumably. So I guess we're approaching the end of the game relatively. I did a little bit of research, though. Now, apparently, once you complete the game, there is a new game plus mode. Not only, and you know, all your weapons and gun, I think your level resets. But all, we, all your equipment, guns, armor, supplies, they, uh, they carry over into the new game. And it unlocks a new area that is not available on your first playthrough, which is like the essentially ultimate optional dungeon of the game interesting i don't know i've seen a, a jrpg do that concept that was exclusive to new game plus um almost every jrpg will have a optional super tough dungeon um but they're usually just hidden away somewhere in the in the first playthrough um my god twigsy it really is um Please kill ya. Um, I would never do that, Seven. Um, did they not try to deliver it? Seven, is that the way it works in the US? They just take it to the depot and they're like, yeah, you've got to come get it now. And you're like, no, you've got to re-deliver it. My f that's, how <laughs> uh, that's how it works in the UK. If they miss a deliver, if you miss a delivery, they, you, they have to bring it back. They don't make you come and get it. I guess you can maybe choose to go and get it if... Uh, if you want to get it sooner, I don't know. But anyway, good luck to you, Seven. We'll see you back in a bit, my dear. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's a, a, other things where it's um, it doesn't like fully explain stuff, like the. I'm re I'm really against the idea of extra, like your bullet damage being reduced per shot the more shots you take in a turn. I wouldn't like that for any kind of attack. But specifically because it's a gun. Do you see what I'm saying? A, gu a, a gun, a bullet, yes, it will have variable damage uh, depending on range, depending on where you like you hit, you hit the target, if you hit it in the vitals, if it's a glancing blow, that kind of stuff. But in a game like this, I feel that a gun, it's, 
it shouldn't be doing less damage for an individual bullet. So I don't really like that about it. But again, they uh, they were experimenting. I wonder how they dealt with it in the sequel. Whether they uh, tuned it up and made it a bit more make a bit more sense. I don't know. Either way, so I guess um, I could I could do it on my own time just for fun. I don't think we're going to start new game plus and try and do the optional dungeon on stream. Uh, I think just doing the single playthrough of the game is um, it's enough. But it's interesting that that is a feature. Um, so we may complete it today, but I feel it's gonna the the difficulty is gonna ramp up now. Um, we uh, I know our next we've got the mysterious warehouse to do. Uh, Ryan said it's pretty tough. The, our other option is to go to the museum. I guess we'll go to the museum first. Uh, Ryan did say that the warehouse is not optional. So it's not like you're missing anything by putting it off. We'll ha we will have to go there at some point. Uh, the police officer outside, he was like, oh yeah, Eve's in there. <laughs> Which, is she? Is she? Well, maybe we... <laughs> maybe, maybe that's like the final area, essentially. You can just go there early. I don't know. Either way. Intriguing. Intriguing. So, uh, without further ado, I've been banging on enough. Uh, or not enough, depending on, on your opinion. <laughs> I do want to uh, get back into uh, Parasite Eve. Let's, um, let's not rush it, but let's, uh, let's get, let's get uh, a decent amount done today. It's a wonderful game. Oh, yeah, sorry, last thing. Uh, thank you to Zombie Undead Cop uh, for the follow. Now, I would assume that a zombie would automatically be undead. But maybe not. Um, <laughs> uh, really, Af? That sounds like some bullshit. Now, that's the land of the free for you. It's got <laughs> America, the land of the free, the United States of America. The land of liberty and freedom and uh, all the rest of it. Lots of positive uh, attributes, but there's also more chaos because of it. Like... That the like that UPS driver's like, I have the freedom to not do my job. Ha! And he's like, okay, you could do that if you want to be a dick. I have the freedom to be a dick. Ha! And you, oh, okay, that's not really much I can say to that, is it? <laughs> I feel, although we have less freedom, things are people kind of behave themselves a bit more over here. For the most part, there's obviously clear exceptions to that. Uh, obviously not me. Anyway, let's <laughs> jibber jabber in again. Oh, look at that. We've got working cam and everything. Who'd have thunk it? Right. Baby. Baby! Let's go. Are you brave? I know, um... Red Mage is in love with her. She seems like... You know, she's obviously, um... Even with the uh, <laughs> terrible graphics, you, you understand that she's, um... Not terrible graphics. Time-relative graphics. Graphics of their time. Uh, you can tell she's clearly supposed to be, uh, you know, a very attractive young lady. Um, so I do wonder how she's uh, portrayed in uh, later games. Although the sequel to this is only a year after this, I believe, or two years, one or two years, and uh, the third game is like ten years later, and apparently it's trash. Everyone said the third game is trash. It's not what you want, especially you think having. You know, 10 years later of development. Right. Let's get to it. I'm watered. What? Good job, Seven isn't here to hear that. I love the music in this game as well. It's kind of... It's very engaging and sets the tone very well. Right, okay, so let's forget about the warehouse for a, a, a minute. Going over to the museum. Oh, 
how slowly she runs up those stairs. Like, <laughs> you ever see, like, uh, in video games, somebody running up steps and they take more than one step at a time, even though they're only taking a single step and it looks a bit weird. Here, it's like the opposite. She's taking, like, three steps of feet to actually one step of stairs. <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> Not her fault. All right, so, oh, okay. Hello. Who's that? Who's there? Yeah, good question. Let's find out. Hello? Oh, cool. We're actually heading to the museum now. Oh. Oh, so it's a freaking dinosaur skeleton I just walked on. What an idiot. Yeah, well, there doesn't seem to be anyone here, so I guess we're going to the next exhibit. <clears throat> I didn't notice that. I'll, uh... I'll check that. Oh, next time we do that, Twixie, I'll pay a bit more attention. Oh, come there. Okay, someone's been here smashing things up, have they? Not for fun, presumably. Cool. Medicine three. I guess we're going through this way. Who is that? Who are you? Oh. Doesn't matter. we got a fight on our hands. Oh! Are we... Monster dinosaurs now. <laughs> oh my god. Ow. Oh wow, these dinos are tough and they're slapping me around. Aye, aye, aye. Right, that's one down at least. God, they are chunky boys. They, uh, give me a lot of ammo there. They, um, how the hell did those dinosaurs get here? Yeah, because we've, <laughs> we've seen the mitochondria. It kind of, um, you know, it makes animals into monsters. But dead animals into monsters, what the hell? Madness. Um. Yeah, Twixie. There's one thing to say about these old games. They, they're so um, kind of uh, immersive, and like, so the presentation, the sound effects, the music. It's, Truly the golden age. Right, a new gun. Let me have a little look at this. A G22, is that? Hmm. Okay. Overall. Yes, we've got... Uh, four plus three. Let me just equip it for a second.
Um, yeah, it's, just, it's exactly the same as what we've got. It's just a fractionally better version. But um, not with that, all the stats and buffs we've got on it. Okay. And a tool, of course. So it's better to save it and just do that slight upgrade. It's locked. Yeah, okay. Well, going around. I guess we're heading back the way we came. Find another. Yeah, atmospheric. Absolutely, Twixie. Oh, more dinosaurs. Oh, my God. We've got little ones now. These little things. Um, now, which one should I take out first? Let me try and take the little guys first, I guess. Yeah, they seem less dangerous, but... Ah. Oof. And, yeah, they are, but how chonky are they? That's the real question. Not so much, but... Um... Okay, they're, not, they're nowhere near as dangerous, so I think... You know, in, um, in a lot of JRPGs... It's, uh, you want to take out the weaker enemies first. Get what they call them adds. Uh, just to tide him up. It's the less of an issue. But I feel that here, um, in Parasite Eve, it's, you, you're better off trying to take out the whatever is going to do more damage to you, whatever's more dangerous. We've just got attacks that are harder to avoid. Even if they're a, a little bit tougher. Oh, this green thing, it's not really posing an issue at all, really. Ow. Whereas that, uh, the big boy, the raptor or whatever he is. A bit of a problem. Very hard to avoid. Yeah, I don't know if the, the, those little green dinosaurs actually touch me at all. Oh, I got some junk. Okay. Whatever, whatever they were, little lizard things jumping around. Um, okay, I guess we should return into the lobby, I assume. Oh dear, now what? Okay, there we go. Very hard to avoid their attack. I guess that's the only not bad thing, but <clears throat> uh, the handgun. Well, that's the thing. One thing the rifle does have over it, in using that uh, range. If you're in an easy fight, you can actually use that to kind of like fully heal yourself and get your P energy back. Just kind of like run around, take as many turns as you need. Like these lads are having trouble like catching up. You know what I'm saying? Level up. Mm. Sweet, sweet level up. Alright, 
let's uh, reload. Only one round, but let's still. Uh, Who's this guy wandering around? Oh, okay. We can go around this way. Now, what is this? Is that really nothing? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. I was just turn the lights on so you can see the animals. How many animals are hiding? That's like seven. The three on the right, I saw, and maybe there's f maybe there's five on the left. Let's try eight. Yeah, you know, trying to get away. Aren't... Ah, there we go. Little lizard down the bottom there. It's nine then, isn't it? Oh, ammo fifteen. <laughs> Can you if you go to the museum and there's like a little like a puzzle thing, interactive puzzle thing, and it gives you bullets <laughs> if you get it right. <laughs> Wait, you can't just um do this over, right? Surely. No, okay. I was gonna say fifteen bullets. I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, whether we've got a fight here could be a bit awkward. All right, it's just one of these little guys. Resorting hand gestures. My hand gestures on my uh what's I doing? Seven. Oh sorry, is that back the way we came? Yeah, okay, silly me. Um <laughs> Predictive text is weird. I I'm on Android and I swear it never remembers anything. You um, I thought you headed out. Uh, seven. I already go do. Oh my. Oh fucking hell! Look at this. Look at this scorpion. My god, horrifying. Someone obviously doesn't want me to get through this area. Clearly. Now should we? Should we use this right now? Ah, here we go. Okay, what was the nutritional source of the first organism that lived 3.9 billion years ago? Oxygen from the ocean, nitrogen oxides from volcanoes, self-conducted photosynthesis. Surely life came from the ocean, right? Originally. Um, I'm going to guess that. Oxygen from the ocean? Oh, was it not? Okay. Okay, medicine plus three. Oh, right, it's nitrogen. Okay. I guess maybe there's um, single-celled organisms on land as well. We... Yeah, okay, we've got to f get into combat with it first. Oh, my God. Horrifying... Oh, my God! Expecting that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 
I don't want to. Let's use the gene heal. Yeah, we want to get behind it, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, I don't want to be touching it though. That's for sure. Oh. There we go. Nice. It was a chonky boy. We uh we got the job done. I had to rinse my uh, P energy for it, but okay. I'll see. Seven. God, that idiot. He sound he sounds like he doesn't know much. Yes, yeah, so see exactly. We had a giant centipede, we've had a giant scorpion. What on earth could be next to Twixie? I don't know if it's um Could be anything, couldn't it? If you think of it, it probably is a thing. We've got dinosaurs as well, so it's <laughs> Oh dear, what's next? What is next? Oh, it's a couple of these lads. Alright, fair enough. Annoying. Hard to avoid damage on these two. I feel I've just got to maybe tank it a little bit. There we go, that's one. There we go. Got an entrance down that way. And an entrance in that direction. And looks like we can't go through those doors. I think to the top is the way we're going to go. There we go, it's locked. That's the door we came through, isn't it? Let's see. Seven. Um, what? Well, this is uh, this is the idiot. He works for the post office, does he? And he's getting a promotion. Isn't isn't that kind of good though? You get more money. Although I don't. I suppose you you'd see any benefit of that. And then, if, if anything, it might make him even into more of an asshole. I don't know. I wish I, wish I could... I wish in some way I could help you out, uh, Seven. Um, grenade launch with freeze rounds, is that? Uh, two shot. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good for a grenade launcher. Okay, well, consider that. Yeah, it's not really the one I want to shoot there, but if one day. these little things all day. Decent amount of XP as well, and they're dropping junk, which is uh, definitely good. Right, 32 carry capacity. Hmm. I'm going to start uh, 
to drop stuff. Maybe I will get an extra... How many is too many? I don't know. I'll do it anyway. Right, so we've got stairs going up. But we've got that going off into the darkness there. Let's try down... Let's stay downstairs first. <sighs> it feels like that, doesn't it, sometimes, uh, Scotty? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know the crits, um, twigs. I don't know. It definitely, the, regardless of the effective range of your gun, it does seem to be the closer you are to an enemy. Like, if, or rather, if you're a little bit further, if you're like a maximum effective range, you may have seen a few of those shots do like less damage. So I wonder if your crit rate is increased by the proximity. Like, so if you're point blank range you've got like a significant boost to crit rate i can't say for certain though can we read these i'll check these statue heads out impressive It doesn't seem as though there's uh, anything here. No. Nah. Not as far as I can tell. Oh, wait, hang on. Wait. What was that noise? Okay. Interesting. Right, something stomping around upstairs. Has uh, caused some rocks and stuff to fall down. Oh my god. Oh, shh. What are these? What are these? Oh my god. Whoa, okay. Oof. Damn, they are tough. They are tough lads, though. I'll tell you that. There we go, that's one down. That's unfortunate with the reload. Um, let me go for a heal. That's what's out on the full P. Sat there at the end. <laughs> hey, level up. Perfecto. Nice. Medicine four times three. Oi, oi. I was not expecting us to be getting a medicine level four. A 400 hit points. Well, la dee da. And to be fair, I'm probably, probably at the point of needing it. <laughs> Okay, random. Dung beetles. Yeah, could very well have been. Twixy. Not pleasant. You, you, you never had to in the first place, Scotty. 
That's, um, if you fit, felt that you did, that's just, that's testament to your character. Most people don't even think, have that internal conversation. Um. No, I don't need to drop any items. Ah, okay. The mitochondria creates ATP. Ad adeno adenosine tri triphosate. Triphosate. Adenosine triphosate within the cell. How much energy is that equivalent to? Yeah, it's the volts, isn't it? 200,000 200, volts per cubic centimeter. <laughs> One sixth horsepower per adult, you know, whatever. There you go. Medicine three. Okay. I remember that from uh, earlier. I think it was my Ada talking to us about it. Okay, let's... Okay, so up to the north there, that's where the, the place fell to pieces. The ceiling fell in. Oh, okay. Plus one defense on our armor. Let's uh, go for that then. Wow, another one. Okay, got a bit less room to move around here. All right, let's target two. So you want to try and take them out one at a time, but obviously a lot of it depends. Oh, that's clumsy. A lot of it depends on uh, moving appropriately. There we go. Nice. That's one down. Target three. Oh, oh, that was unfortunate. Okay. We go. They're not too bad once you get the hang of them. Damn, all the ammo. Nice. Can't get through here. Okay. Fair enough. Um, it's although it's expensive, I uh, I got LASIK like God, probably like twelve years ago, and um, probably the best money I've ever spent, honestly. Uh, and I've had people say to me, "Oh yeah, but it's um, scary. I don't want people messing around with my eyeballs and cutting them and putting lasers in them and stuff." <laughs> uh, that's fair enough, but uh, I'm sure the the technology's come along even more. Uh, since in the past 12 years. Um, yeah, I know not everyone is able to, for various reasons, is able to get it, Seven. Are you one of those? Right, what has got, been going on up here? It's like something was up here and knocked down stuff downstairs. There's rocks and stuff. Unless it was the creatures knocking stuff down, and then they came down after us. 
Either way, it looks like we've got to go this way. Okay. Interesting. No, I don't. I can go up or down. It's probably gone up. Let's go down first. If this unlocks the shortcut or um, takes us to a different section, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Attack power on our gun. Um, yeah, there we go. No, I couldn't get on with contact lenses, Scotty. Ah, and that puts us down back down here. We're to find a tool. Okay. Nice. Good instinct there. Go down rather than up. Um, I did wear contacts for a little bit, Scotty, but I found they just, like, annoying. It's not that I can't put them in my eyeball, but I've seen people who just go, ding, and then they're in their eye, and I'm like, it, I have to, like, fight to get it in there. <laughs> and they're like, why? What a pain in the ass. And then obviously, if you wear them for too long, they make your eyes kind of um, feel a bit funny. Um, but yeah, you get used to it, don't you? Actually, you get used to it when you don't need your spectacles. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. If you're used to having your glasses with you at all times, uh, then it's fair enough. But my eyesight got to, so bad to the point where... Just sitting in front of the PC, I'd have to have my specs on. I just couldn't see the screen. It was, um... So, yeah, I, uh, I'm, uh, I was pretty happy with the results. <laughs> Laminating your eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> if only. But who knows? We, who knows what weird, weird and wonderful, crazy technology is going to exist in the future? If anything... That's a weird exhibit. There's some skeletons hanging out in a living room. <laughs> I feel about that. 69 crit. Nice. Del oh my god, 369s. I'd say don't 69 a dinosaur, but... You know, maybe there's some times when it's okay. Or it's even desired. Um, there we go. P energy seems to be a. Uh, we have seems to be a decent amount of it now. Uh, by taking mitochondria, uh, which uses oxygen as its nutritional source, into the body and live with it with it symbiotically, the bacteria has acquired a tremendous amount of energy. What was the consequence? Um, of uh, too much uh, mitochondria. Uh, not aging. Does it slow the reproduction rate of cells? I imagine it was um, do more, you know, it's the opposite. It's making too many cells, so I guess I'll we'll go that one. That was not the answer. Oh, that was the answer. No, it wasn't. Aging, okay, if you say so. Okay, none of those. Okay, weird. What? Didn't, didn't give me anything. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I, I figured seven, but it didn't seem to do anything. Yeah, what on earth? That's what I say. Jank, game, a slightly jank. In the best possible way. Let me try again. Yeah, fair enough, Seven. There's definitely advantages. I, when I went to the Reading Festival when I was younger, I just... I don't want to take my spectacles to a freaking music festival with me, basically. Um, so I was like, let's just wear contacts. You know? And it, I was probably... I had them in too long, like 12, 15 hours a day. And I had like dirty hands and taking them in and out. It's like, 
but um overall still still better i felt okay whatever nothing nothing that's fine nothing oh is this um this is a human body exhibit isn't it like, here look at these organs yummy i'd be like oh i didn't think we made it to the cafeteria yet i got some hominids here Find some dinosaurs, presumably. There we go. Another one of these lads. Nice. Double sixty nine at the end there. No damage from him. Cool. Happy with that. What's this one? In 1987, Ken and Wilson released a theory stating that humans were derived from mitochondria Eve, which organism is thought to be mitochondria Eve. Um, yeah, an African female. But yeah, I nice. Mind me to reload. I've got loads of rounds now. Yeah, it, weird. <laughs> we, they just got it. They got their own game wrong. Seven. There we go. It's got stairs going down. We gotta find some dinosaurs first, though. Or some bugs. Right, I'm gonna get the um, beetle burst. Probably the more dangerous. I feel. Slightly, not by much. Get a healer now. Might as well. You sat on like full magic points. You might as well. No reason not to. Wow. So yeah, it, a, a heal too. It heals at the same rate. Of you know, you uh, your P energy will regen as quick as you use it, which is a uh, pretty cool, to say the least. Okay, so we got various possibly switches of stuff. I don't know. That's a good guy. No, that's not a thing. Big red button. Not a thing. No, okay, so we got to go that way. Or this way or down the stairs. Okay, that's locked. Okay, that's um Stay on the current floor, I guess. Oh! <gasps> Freaking hell, flying dinosaurs now. Oh my god. Holy hell. Oh my god, that hurt. Okay, but they're not too tough. 
That's just more shocking than anything. <laughs> uh, oh, parasite powers have evolved. Pre-raise. Revives when a hit point reaches zero. Oh, auto life. Auto life. Thank you kindly. Now, if I play sensibly now and carefully, in theory, we may ne need never die. Uh, if I just, like, if we're getting a boss fight, that's the first thing I'll do is get the pre-raise up. And try and play as best as I can. We uh, may be good to go. I'm going to speak too soon. Your inventory is full. Hmm. That's uh, an issue. Let's get another inv inventory point then, I guess. I should probably have a little look what we got. Inventory is still full. Let's place a junk in there. I guess it's a medicine four. Okay. Got ya. Okay, place a junk in there. Get a junk. Okay, so there's one junk in that box there. Hmm. Um. I wonder if it's worth... I, think, I feel like it's too far back to try and leave. And we're never going to get enough junk anyway, so I guess if we're leaving a junk, it probably doesn't matter that much. Probably. Never mind, it's okay. Alright, I feel like maybe this is the way to go. We've got those stairs back there still to check. And then we'll head back the other way first. Alright, more pterodactyls. medicine crazy amount of medicine yeah it's a shame we uh i think honestly uh for getting your junk i think that's for like so i think you i think ryan's right if i what more research to, to, you know I, I did last night suggested you have to need like 200 or 300 pieces of junk and then wayne will make you like a really good gun um of your choice and whichever you choose whichever type it's arguably the best gun in the game. Um, which is great, but... It's... To farm junk, your best bet is to... Go to the secret dungeon, which is obviously New Game Plus. And I think, what, I've given Wayne, like... About 20, 30 junk now, at most. So we're not really gonna... Uh, we're not gonna... Um, be able to do it on this playthrough for sure so might as well just throw it away i want to just head back the other way and check those stairs that are going down i feel this is the way we're supposed to be going right here so no chicken butt uh <laughs> Uh, cage. Oh, Legion cage. Uh, I'll take that as a, a compliment, I guess. I could, I could feast on a chicken butt. I want a whole chicken. Um, Lupe, I think that's a wonderful idea. Do you have a good fish and chip shop near you, bud? I feel for chippies, they can be like super, um... <sighs> It's, it's hard to find a good one. Some are not very good. And some are, like, pretty damn amazing. And it's usually based on the, um... Oh, my God. I feel it's usually based on, uh... 
the chips because it's almost like hard to get fish fried fish wrong isn't it Yeah, how you doing, uh, Cage? You are, bud. Nice. There we go. The ultimate weapon. I know nothing about the ultimate weapon. I know nothing about Parasite Eve 2, let alone when we're going to be playing it. It's uh, certainly not immediately after this. It may be the near future, but um, it's not going to be our next game. We've already, you know, I've got a, essentially <laughs> there's no votes for it yet. So if it, uh, any votes were to come in for for it from Ryan or anybody else, that's not until the first of September. So, or you know, a few days after the first. But um, yeah, th both Ryan and Slick Mick, I think they said they feel the sequel of to this is not as good as the original. But it's still very much worth playing, which is good enough for me because I've uh, I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed this. But they say the the, uh, the third game in the series, which um, you would think technically would be the best game, is apparently trash. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, revive, eh? Here we go. I'm gonna clear out this inventory a little bit. Let's um, let's just give up on the junk, I guess. Part of me wants to, um, like, keep it, but I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, that's locked. Okay. That's locked. Okay. can't get through here i don't know about that i uh, uh, uh <laughs> looks like you probably can okay so that answers my question it's a dead end so we can go back to where we were going um working on breakfast nice anything uh anything good i'm good buddy um so i, I lupo i have never played kingdom hearts um and although maybe they're not unappealing to me but they're not like immediately from what i've seen of them that i'm uh drawn to them necessarily um having said that the the show's in the hands of the producers now lupo so there's no kingdom hearts games on the list at the moment for them to vote on but the producers can add games to that list the voting list so if if they were ever to do that in the future we would certainly play some um, uh, Kingdom Hearts, but it's not uh, probably not anytime soon. Um, we'll, have, we'll have to wait and see. Not, nothing's off the table. I know, very, I know the series is very popular and very well regarded. Um, yes, no spoilers, uh, please, Cage. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? Eggs and toast. Got some bacon today. Ow! Making me jelly. Calm yourself, Cage. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've heard various things about the series. Like, it's, you know, it's good and bad. Rough and smooth. But overall, it's very well regarded and very well beloved. Uh, and I've seen people play it, and it, 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 it looks like a lot of fun. Yes, me too. Me too, Scotty. Unless I casually mention he's got bacon. He's not. He got any for the rest of the class? No, is the answer. Oh, 
Ugh, I don't like these dinosaurs. There he has. A little bit more manageable when there's only one. I say as I immediately get nommed on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if I just uh, knocked on Cage's door now. He'd be like, what are you doing here? Are you streaming? I was like, no, I stopped to come and get bacon. <laughs> God. I wonder. I guess. Um, I don't. Th I don't believe like teleportation technology is. Um, impossible but i feel it's probably there's a lot of other technology that's going to come before that and i wonder if we're going to see it in our lifetimes which is a shame it's going to um revolutionize uh everybody's lives isn't it you just go everyone has access to anywhere on the surface of, of the planet at any time i think it'd be wonderful it would um pretty pretty stonkingly amazing right okay we not quite back in the entrance hall it looks very similar though so we've got stairs going down there elevator that's not working there Can't get through that gate. Okay, that door does open. Ah. Okay, I mean, I missed a few things. Hey, did someone just lock the door? I've been trapped in here with something. That's unfortunate. So, yeah, I must have locked it. Okay. Not good. Yeah, take this freaking junk I'm carrying around. Oh, new armor. good i mean maybe it's slightly better it's base stats but carrying plus one extra item is whatever um exactly scott it's like you know you spend fuel to get to cage's house to eat his bacon you could just spend that money on getting your own bacon um yeah, it's, yeah, guys, it rained again. Two, that's two days in a row it's rained. So it's cooling down here, but I'm still sat here with the electric fan on. <laughs> ah, new hard drive. Excellent. You're only Lupo. Yeah, it's, it's hard to go on with a solid state. It's the way of it, isn't it? Um, go for a walk, buddy. Fresh air never hurt you, anyone. I think you should be fine with the... Uh, I mean, I can't speak where you, for where you are, but... Uh, it's, it, the rain seems to have, like... It's a lot in a short space of time, and then it's not much of any, anything. Yeah, so I don't think the armor's going to uh, benefit us much. That's just that piece of junk. Okay. That's a shame. I might have missed out on a few things back there, but I'm kind of run at the full capacity with uh, items anyway. Can we hop over there? Get through. Yeah, this seems to be the only way to go. Here if you don't cut yourself there, are you? If I slip, I'm a goner. Don't slip then. Oh, 
know where we're freaking going. Let's see. It looks like I can only get in from there. Oh, I guess we're going down. Carefully. Damn. You made it. Oh, again, I've kind of lost. I've just been following the, the, the way to go. I don't know where that is. Oh. Oh, these pterodactyls are not so bad. Yeah, see, I think that's right, Twigsy. Look how close we were to there, and that's a double crit. Obviously, it's dangerous to be close to the enemy, but... Maybe sometimes it's in that it's your advantage. Oh, it's got a door there. Dinosaur eggs there and a door there. Okay, I mean... 50-50 chance. These boys and a scorpion. Oh, what the? Ugh. Oh, it's been poisoned. On an asshole. No! Wrong enemy. I don't know why it changed the target there. There we go. Oh, seriously? The best place to be from this thing is directly behind him, but obviously that's uh, easier said than done, isn't it? Ow. All the medicine is insane. I might even uh, start choosing the, some of the, the low-level medicine to heal and save the energy. I don't know. Let me check back this way. Just to confirm. Oh. handle those lads pretty well. It's locked, okay. <laughs> you know how here's in RPGs, you've got to go the wrong way first. So you don't miss things. 
potentially. Right, okay, where next? Okay, that might be a way to go. Alright, this is locked. Right, stairs going down. Or uh, it's corridor this way. I guess we're going to try this way first. That looks kind of sus, but never mind. Too many items. Of course, while we've got these, I'll um I'll take the ammo out of <laughs> We learned that's one that we learned from yesterday. It's a museum shop, is it? There you go. That's good that the shop in the museum sells uh, defense power for your uh, your armor, isn't it? Pretty pretty handy, I feel. And also tools. <laughs> Lol. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on. It was, it was Scotty, yeah. She's leveled up quite a bit, to say the least. I don't know if there's like a max level or anything, but... The uh, XP gain still seems fairly steady. Cool. I don't know why they are inclined to just stay there like that. Oh damn, level up again. Level 30. Nice. God, all those bonus points, that's pretty crazy. going to go for even more item capacity at this point as we carry so much and that te in the technical sense if we were to go into like a super tough boss battle or the final boss even if your actions are a little slow if you're like loaded up with 20 30 bloody medicines probably would be fine wouldn't it really if you see what i'm saying <laughs> i'm sure it would be although we're on 35 capacity Whereas the stat is at 50. So I wonder if it's got extreme diminishing returns now. So I think 
it's kind of maybe it's pointless putting any more points into that. So I guess from now on we'll start working exclusively on the active time. Until we get that to the diminishing returns as well. This looks sus. Let's see. Couple of those to the face, matey. Nice. There. there we go. Answer that question. I feel like we've <laughs> we've been in every friggin' room in this museum now. Up, back down, up, back down, round, go this way, go around that way. Um she does run fairly slowly. Uh, cage is true. Let's see, where's the alarm? Uh, that walk is very uh, casual as well. We've got a telephone. Yeah, we're definitely. So, uh, gonna uh, call back our email. Um, I guess we'll go for that one. We shouldn't. I feel in a good situation now. We've got decent arm. We've got a relatively good gun. Loads of ammo. Loads of heals. We've le been leveling up nicely as well. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, oh God. There's Eve. And very pregnant. Eve. Where is she? That room. Where is that? I mean, oh, what's that? The act it is. Uh, here it is, and it's been activated. Deactivate. Okay, let's turn the alarm off. Not that I could hear the alarm, but. So, uh, oh, she's on the fourth floor. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, a machine gun. That stupid random fire <laughs> we'll take it for the bullets i guess um right so we know she's on the fourth floor we don't know what floor we're on you would assume that the security would be on the first floor wouldn't you oh here we go a little singer, she. I 
It's air. I assume we're gonna get something else in a minute. I'm just listening to her sing in the dark, are we? Um. I think it's um. It's glitched out on us, yeah. I'll leave it another a little second, but I feel like we're supposed to be in the middle of a cutscene now. <laughs> right. All oh, that singing supposed to be going on while we're uh, like running somewhere. There you go. That was like a whole song she sang there. And now she's starting over. I think it's glitched out on us, folks. Let me, uh, I'm going to have to, we, thank God we just saved it there. I'm going to have to uh, kill it and start it back up, I think. I really don't think this is supposed to be happening. Unfortunate. Let's get back in there. Yeah, that didn't seem right, did it? Bacon. Yeah, I could go some of that. Yeah, what's he like, Scotty? He's, so, he's such a tease, isn't he? Remember when he, he was no cam streamer? It's just, that's just how he rolls, isn't it? All right, continue. Uh, there we go. Thankfully, the uh, the oh, insert disc two. Oh, of course, because it loads up on disc one, doesn't it? Silly me. Here we go. Okay, so it's uh, um, there we go. I have to remember how to do this from yesterday. Control. In disc two. Close the disc tray. <laughs> don't like pepperoni. Don't lie. Nothing to say. Crazy, crazy thing to say. There we go. Um, I should have just done the safe state there. I'll do one now once it's loaded up. She's on the fourth floor. Okay, and I'll uh, do one of those. You're proud that you don't like pepperoni. I don't understand. I don't understand why that would be the case, Cage. I know you're pride about it. Um. Oh, it still exists, Braden. Uh, just <laughs> I just uh, I just removed it from the channel points. Uh. I may do it randomly occasionally. Right, here we go. Yeah, it just had a moment of uh, didn't want to work. Here we go. Is the mitochondria going to grab hold of that T-Rex skeleton? Oh no. Oh dear. I 
Oh dear. Pineapple and jalapeno. That sounds pretty freaking amazing. Um, Braden, I'm not. Um, I'm not. I'm not a hater of pineapple on pizza, but I just never choose to have it. But then people always suggest uh, good combinations like that. And I'm like, oh, actually, I don't think I want to sneeze before we have to fight this T-Rex. <coughs> Jeez, Louise! Um, can't believe it. So that's how she controls inanimate objects. I mean, oh yeah, I think you already worked this out, now. I don't know that I've had banana peppers. I know you mentioned them the other day, uh, Scotty. <clears throat> Maybe we know them as something else over here. And of all things, she's crazy. I mean, she's the enemy. I mean, if I had someone trying to come after me and I had the ability to animate a T-Rex to fight my enemy, I, I think that'd be sensible <laughs> rather than crazy. But, uh... Okay, so now where are we? So now can we go this way? Yeah. I guess we'll have to fight that T-Rex, aren't we? I don't think there's going to be any way around it. Didn't be needing a lot of XP to level now. Which makes sense. Um. Okay, mild and tart type of chili. Oh, that sounds pretty amazing. Banana peppers. Yeah, I don't know if we have them over here. We know them by a different name. Yeah. Barbecue chick cage. I, s I swear to God, cage. I don't know what to do with you, sir. He's like, oh, mostly I have this thing that is the worst thing or this thing that is the best thing. It's like, what? In fact, uh, I saw Barrel Thea share. He's like, mm, look at this lovely mushroom pizza I've got. And I'm like, now I'm not a hater of mushrooms. I respect mushrooms. They're fine. But I'm not like, I don't see the appeal. I don't think you should go out of your way for mushrooms. You know, I don't know what the appeal is. Just a mushroom pizza. Oh, mushrooms. Perfectly fine without them. Many, many other things you can have to, that are just superior. Barbecue chicken, barbecue anything. Barbecue meat of any kind. I'm not judging cage, you have the mushrooms, I'll have uh, all the other nice things. That's fine. Um <laughs> Yeah, barbecue uh, yeah, ch ch so yes, I I feel I think for some, for some reason some people maybe don't feel chicken goes on pizza. It's like of other meats are meant to go on pizza and chicken's not one of them. I I disagree with that. I feel it's perfectly acceptable. Um, God, I'm getting uh, 
Right, yeah, we went... Sorry, I know where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go into the fourth floor, aren't we? We need to be heading up. Up from where we currently are. Yeah, I feel like I am, Cage. Kind of. Ow. Oh, shit. Nice. Ow. Ryan. See, Ryan, that sounds wonderful, and I would happily take those uh, mushrooms, but also I don't see the need for them. Does that make sense? <laughs> uh, yeah, pepperoni, chicken, bacon, and garlic. Mm. I suppose garlic does go well with mushrooms, doesn't it? This is true. Garlic mushrooms. I can go for those, definitely. Um... Come to America where I belong, Raiden. Oh, bless you, sir. If only it was that simple. If only it were. Um, too much. Too much any items there. I feel... Unless I could use one of these tools to break down one of these guns. That could be a possibility. It does have a few bonuses there on it. You know, it's technically maybe superior. Yeah, let me, sorry, let me have a look at the base here. So 49, 60, 10. Ah, 47. Yeah, okay, so the... So what I should do, we will be losing the Trank bullets, which seem to do precisely fuck all. Um, what I should do is you switch to the G22 and transfer all those bonuses on the uh, G23 over to it. Which only one... Yeah, plus five and a plus three. I feel like I put more than that on it, but... Never mind. Okay, so I want to... It's not ideal. It's just because we've got so much stuff. Maybe I'm better off saving the tools anyway. I don't know. Got three... Oh, I've got three tools. Well, maybe I should uh, do the same with the armor. Yeah, it's only plus one and plus one, isn't it? I'm not going to use it, though. Either way, it's going to use a tool. The, the other option, of course, is just to junk some medicine. <sighs> let's, um, let's do the gun. There you go. So let's unload it. Okay, so I want to use the G22, which we have equipped. And then we're going to break down the uh, G23. I'm going to take those stats. Nice. There we go. It's not much of an upgrade, but it is, definite, you know, it is a definite upgrade. And... Uh, Uh, 
so it frees up a little bit of space there. Um, right, so we're going up, aren't we? Look for a floor or two. Oh, thank you for hydration there, Brayden. Let me get on that. Um... No, not so much. Kind of, Cage. Kind of. I've rolled it back a little bit. I, I am going to bed like two or three. So I suppose that's like... A, I suppose that is like a normal person's Eastern Standard Time bedtime. I know Scotty stays up fairly late. Um, as You know, I guess what is, it, what is average bedtime? For me, it's nine or ten. That's like a, a normal working person, I guess. <laughs> Exactly, exactly, Ryan. Yeah, mushrooms, I'm never going to order them on a pizza. But if I come to your house, Ryan, and you're like, yo, I've got pizza here. So I'm like, oh! I'm, I'm not even going to question the mushrooms. I'm not going to be like, oh, this would almost be a perfect pizza, Ryan, if you don't have mushrooms. I wouldn't care. I would scarf it down. Even Balthier's mushroom pizza, it's just a plain cheese pizza loaded with mushrooms. I would st I'd still... Yeah, I'm not. not <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't play games when it comes to food, folks. It's um. There's not much that I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my nose up to. Perfect. Thank you, Braden. Appreciate it, sir. Nothing, no, nothing cage. It's, it's the fact that it's, it's just loaded with mushroom. Nothing. I, I can just go for cheese pizza. And typically, they can be better, especially if they're store-bought, because they'll get more cheese and more variety of cheese on them. Arguably, you could say that's the pinnacle of all pizza in a weird way. Um, I wish I knew what floor we were on. Yeah, I think it was through this way that the the guy, uh, the random dude, like, locked us um, in a door. I'm just going to head this way and f find out where we are. Oh, die rate, yeah. Not about die rating, Brayden. Nah, I'm gonna, I think I'll avoid that, buddy, as best as I can. <laughs> uh... I, I do appreciate it, though, because I do sometimes get so absorbed in what I'm doing. I, um, I do tend to forget. handle those pterodactyls when they're on their own. Yeah, me too, Brayden. I was just trying to get to it. Oh, elevator. Elevator's possibly working. Maybe that's where we've got to go. I'm sure that didn't have little flashing lights on it before. <clears throat> C 
crisis. I hope the crisis was averted, Twixie. I hope everything's all right, buddy. Yeah, here we go. I don't know what floor we're on. We should be able to get to what floor we want to get to now. Uh, now, I know we're not near a phone. I'm just going to do a, um, a save state just in case we have it. Because we had that little uh, weird crash glitch thing a minute ago. I don't want to have to redo everything we've just done. So do forgive me. I'm sure uh, you would agree that's acceptable. Not save scumming. But I feel doing a save here is, you know, is it acceptable. Um, yeah, maybe that's what Twixie had, a boss battle. Uh, Brayden. Uh, very much averted. Yeah, I'll bet you are. I'll bet you. I'd, I'd employ you to do anything, Twixie, honestly. <laughs> um, we, um, we do. We do have Krispy Kreme, uh, over here, uh, Brayden. I don't know what the differences may be. It may be even exactly the same. But the few times I've had them, they are fantastic. Uh, God, you've got me thinking about Krispy Kreme now. Yeah. <laughs> That doesn't look good, does it? Oh, full recover. Damn, that's nice. Can we actually get through that? I would imagine not. She's glooped that right up. Okay. Yet the only way I see is to go back down. Are you sure there's nothing to do with it? Burn it shoot our way through seemingly not okay let's maybe we've got to find a way below us to come back up in a different way better than Krispy Kreme what does that mean <laughs> not over here there isn't Raiden but like I said, you, know, you guys got the land of the free you know it's chaos but you you know, you get some of the best things, you know. That's the way it goes. Oh, faked me out there. Chisel. Oh dear. Because that's the only thing with Krispy Kreme, isn't it? Or anything else like that. Because it's uh, a franchise. They have standards. Which, on one hand, are good because you get consistency. On the other hand, you're never going to get that higher level of quality. Although, over here, I, I, you know, for us, like Krispy Kreme, you ain't going to find a better donut than that. That's like some good shizzle. And you pay for it as well. Or you don't, and you go without, like me. Uh, <laughs> Damn. I don't know. That's what I'm talking about, Case. It's the difference between us and you guys. You guys, uh, you know, you're like, ah, oh, Krispy Kreme. Over here, 
you you'd uh you know if i bought like a what like a selection tray big box of Krispy Kreme how many did you get in there is that like a 12 is that a 20 pack I could buy one of those I could go down the local high street and I bet I could find six dudes who are willing to or eight dudes who are willing to fight each other street fight each other in a, a tournament to get the box of donuts it's <laughs> it's uh I mean, they probably wouldn't. They'd be like, hey, guys, let's just beat this guy up and then we'll just take him and split him. You know, but, it, you know, people will be able to fight over those. Uh, <laughs> which is uh, it's, um, a bit weird, really, if you think about it. I wouldn't. I'm going to fight someone for donuts. Uh, it's just, it depends on if I'm starving or something. I don't know, but... Should have softened him up a little bit first. Best opportunity to attack. Never mind. There we go. Oh, Ryan, I would, I would love that, bud. I would love that maybe in the future who knows but yeah i feel that's kind of my problem like um because i'm such a foodie you know and a lot of the world goes oh, americans they're just fat that's only because you can only say that because you don't live there L go live there and say that I, it was so difficult for me i'd be like you know there's less opportunity <laughs> um you know over a uh, if I was over there, God, I have to be very careful. Yeah, you get them hot. We don't get them hot over here. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, yeah, okay, that, that balances it out, Ryan. Yeah, do, do get your exercise to balance it out. Yeah, nasty calories, but it's worth it, I feel. Eat the nice food, but do the work, rather than go, like, full monk mode. More importantly, though, G-Ray, fuck is G-Ray? That lad, how you doing, G-Ray? You all right, buddy? He's, uh, he does the hard look, but he's just letting us know that, uh, he's, he's like, I'm just gonna let you know, uh, I am over nine thousand. He just... He won't say anything, but he will uh he will let us know that. Thank you. Thank you, G Ray. He's up there on that leaderboard, folks. Just in case anyone's wondering. Where's he at? He's he's going head to head with Squidge at the minute. Squidge does a flex, catches up with him, and then he does another one. Just to let everyone know. And he's god damn it, he's only one behind Slick Mick. Those three are kind of all like jockeying for uh, second place there. Slick Mick, G Ray, and Squidge. They're all they're all right up there. Thank you, G Ray. I hope you're well, sir. I do hope so. If if you're not, you'd let me know. I don't know what I can do about it, G Ray, but I can listen at the least. That's the least I can do. Right, okay, so which door was it we didn't get to go through? That's not even a door, it is <laughs> this way? That's not even a thing. Let's it up this way, maybe. No, we came from there. I don't know. Uh, I suppose we take the elevator down. More floors. I don't know how that's going to help us. 
Can that bring us down here? And down to the basement, maybe. Okay, this has brought us down to reception here. This is the entr this is the whole entrance of the whole uh There you go, I can do a legitimate save there. I'm s I'm slightly confused now. you uh call the elevator from here are you oh she doesn't want to okay all i can think is that <sighs> i got to the third floor maybe let's go find the t-rex wherever the bloody t-rex was i don't know where he was you assume the t-rex would be on the ground floor wouldn't you Who knows? You never can tell. But it seems like we've kind of got access to everything. It's just finding the right place to go now. Which is not here. Okay, so this is up on the fourth floor. So we need to get through there. I don't know how we deal with that sludge. Unless it's literally finding the T-Rex and killing him. Defeating him. So obviously he's been dead 65 million years. Uh, <laughs> um... Oh, wait, I know where he was, or where we saw him. And I don't know if we can get through to him from here. When we climbed out of this window, we saw his skeleton, didn't we? And so we can climb down there, or maybe not, but... um. Ow. Uh, reload that. Yeah, and let's uh, ditch that. Yeah, yeah, so we climbed out of here. It's going to let us climb through again. It's not. So if this is the third floor, let me drop down one. So the D Rex must be on the first floor. It must be somewhere. So, um, we'll take the elevator down from here. Might be easiest. Okay, let's go down, take it down to the first floor and start running around, see if there's anywhere we've not been. God, the elevator's quick. <laughs> very, very quick elevator. Right, okay, let's just try going this way. We've definitely been around here, haven't we? Could be off. I don't remember seeing him when we came through. There's a picture of his face. Oops.
Alright, that's where we fought the first scorpion. It's fine, though. No. Oh, there we go. Level up to level 32. Parasite powers have evolved. Full recover restores all hit points and removes status effects. Oh! Well, I won't say no to that. Okay, now I've got battle points to spend. So it's, it's kind of um, so it's the thirty-six. I said it okay, it did it did uh, increase, but it's definitely diminishing returns. So we're going to uh, start on the active time. I assume that's how quickly. Yeah, speeds up, speeds it up next. And it looks like you can put your your bonus points directly into uh, weapons. By the looks of it, but um, I feel. You know, if you're if you're moving your weapons around all the time, then it's maybe not what you want. Oh, I deactivated the alarm, but it's not opening. I need a key for this one. That suggests that's where we need to go. So where's the key? Okay, let's keep looking around on this floor. Okay, and that's uh, back to these stone heads that assuming there's nothing to do with them. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, Ryan. Yeah, like I say, it probably doesn't do the best job of, like, explaining your options. But, yeah, you definitely do. Right, okay, so the fact that that door is locked there now and we've got to find a key that's just, I mean, that's what we're supposed to be doing right now. Ow. I think I'll head back to the lobby and see if we can get through that. There's another random door there. Get through that. Ow. Death wand. Or see if, you know, from this key. Uh, so I can only, I, I'm going to guess that in that room is where the T-Rex is.
Right, so can we go through these doors? Now. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, this is familiar. I guess I'll take the little guys out first. I try to. like a, a heal that was halfway between a strongest heal two and heal three that'd be nice but can't have everything you want seems like quite a jump up so heal one does 30 hit points six then 60 then 280 if there'd been <laughs> it's like I don't know, could uh, I could have preferred it if there's a bit more of a uh, bit more of a gap, but that's fine. A bit less of a gap, even. Um, Yeah, like a, yeah, 150. That would have been perfect, Ryan. It just seems like quite a, a leap. 60, 280. It's like, eh? Eh? <laughs> you see, it feels like doing the 60 is like not really worth the hassle. And sometimes doing the 280 is more than you need, but you still want to get a heal in. There we go. Nice. Um, don't really need those. Alright, sat on too much stuff again. I'll just use one of those. Right, okay. Ah, this door was locked, wasn't it, last time we came through here? I think it was this one. Or maybe not. Not quite. I think we got hit by some kind of roadblock, though, of some kind. There you Taking all when I'm not meaning to pick up the junk, but hey ho. Um, Right, okay. So this links up. This is the same door from the other side, isn't it? I assume, unless there's like a, a room here that this, this is a, there are two different doors into the same room and that's the room we're going to get to by finding the key. Um, I don't know my feeling is it's just a locked door, but why would they keep it locked if it wasn't? 
I don't know. Yo, Jess. What there, Jess? How you doing, my dear? Are you well? How you keeping yourself? I hope you're good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Resident Evil Jurassic Park. Uh, uh, just today, just now, basically. That's <laughs> great. Uh, right, so I feel that we fully explored the first floor. No sign of T-Rex boy, unless he's in that room. And we need, to, we do in fact need to find this said key. Weird, you can't get into the elevator on the first, from the first floor though. Oh, you can. It's just been awkward. So I'm just gonna have to just systematically go through the uh, museum. I feel. Okay, second floor. Let's go. Okay, we're going to try this direction first. Okay, that's the uh, there's the gift shop there. Looks around everywhere there. Found some cool items. It's freaking amazing. As, as soon as you press the button, Ryan, the door opens and you're there. And you're like, hang on a minute. Did we, did we go anywhere? And the game's like, yes. <laughs> yes, you did. This is going back to the security room, isn't it? <laughs> I guess we'll double check there wasn't a key in the security office. It seems like it, doesn't it? I don't really need to save in a minute, I feel. Yeah, she's on the fourth floor. Her pet T-Rex is on the first floor? Yeah, the alarm's off. And there's... Oh. Definitely, uh... Nothing, uh... Nothing else in there, as far as I can, I can tell. Okay. Process of elimination. lads ow nice not bad to move in it. Just gonna get a little reload. A little tidy up. Oh, yeah. Um Right, okay, so we've got a second set of stairs going down. Yeah, okay, so we, we definitely looked at this, didn't we? We just didn't go up the stairs. Okay, we've definitely been in that hall. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure. Double check. Yes. Right, yeah, and this is stone uh, heads up in that direction. Okay. Yeah, I just ignored these stairs. That's what I did. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where it where it is, uh, Ryan. That's the only issue. Oh, I 
time. So it's fine. I'm just going to do a systematic search. Right, and that brings us to the ladder there. Which, um... I think we already did both of these, didn't we? Okay, I'm not going to go the... I'll remember the ladder's there. For, uh... If that, in case that takes us somewhere we couldn't get without it. I don't know. I don't know if that's the case. We finished just checking the main floor on the second floor here. Yeah. It's going to be, you know, a bit of XP and leveling up, aren't we? So it's never a, a bad thing, is it? Oh, trying to avoid three of these in this little space, though. doing today young sir are you right looking after yourself i hope but yeah i'm doing very well buddy trying to find my way through this museum um which is uh easier said than done right, let's try this way Right, okay, that's another door. Right, okay. So then we are on the second floor with the door, which the alarm has deactivated, but I need a key for this one. Exactly the same, basically exactly the same position in the building as on the first floor. So I can only imagine there's just, this is the room we've just not been in, presumably, where the T-Rex is. And regardless of which floor we get to, we need a key. So I think Ryan, with his little clue there, the key, possibly, is in the scientist's office. I just need to remember exactly where that was. Uh, <laughs> let's get going. Yeah, it wasn't uh, massively obvious the first time you come here, was it? Um, right, so let's secure it off. So we've got the ladder back up the other way there, if we need to look at that. better range there but getting the job done nonetheless <laughs> it's <that> right <laughs> 
don't know if I know the song. But uh, I'm sure it's good. The Flow Rider Elevator. I'll have to try and remember to look it up later. Brains do that, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, uh, there's no getting around it. Right, well, let's... Uh, I guess we'll use one of those. I guess we'll use one of those as well. <laughs> Too much medicine. Drop these uh, enemies drop here, isn't it? <laughs> Seems to be uh, able to deal with those pterodactyls fairly well. Ah, I can get through here. Now, do we want to do that? Maybe we do. I'm not sure I've been in this room before, actually. Before we go that way, let me just check this direction. Maybe is that where we climbed through and then came down and came through that way let's have a look through this in this this direction ah this does not look familiar to me actually ah Right, yeah, we've definitely got this. 25 million years ago, oxygen increased in the air. Why? Photosynthesis by bacteria. Halley's comet dropped a meteor. A comet dropped me. <laughs> Reaction between the gas and the H2O. Um, surely it was um, more... Pho was it not more photosynthesis? 
but photosynthesis by bacteria. That doesn't make sense. Oh, it was apparently. I thought I thought photosynthesis was plants. This is bacteria in and on plants, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so we've got a door there. We go this way. No. Right, again, that's the same room from the other side. Okay. That's hopeful, though. Hey, Optimus. How you doing there, bro? Uh, thank you for the alert, Red Mage. Um, what do you, do you forget? Don't, don't, need, don't need to worry about anything, Cop. Unless you feel you've forgotten something. Um... Yeah, so this is the essentially the room the T-Rex was in, right? You don't seem to get anywhere from there. Okay, well... I guess we're, um... Oh! 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 Okay. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right, we're changing Eve's name to Coptimus, are we? Okay, that that works. <laughs> All right, sir. Why not? Why not? Um. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> Is this way? <laughs> Oh, there we go. There's someone in there. And it must have been Dr. Clamp who was uh, following us around. There we go. Good call. Good call, Ryan. Parasite <laughs> It is. It's a, it's a very good game. Professor Clamp, don't move. Put your hands in the air where I can see him. Maeda? Yeah. Hi, Aya. Uh, yes, uh, there was something I really needed to test. Um, may I put my arms down now? No. Did you come back here alone? Mm, no. Daniel came with me part of the way. Well, where is he? Uh, yes, he went to look for something at the hospital. He should be on his way here. Oh. There haven't been any combustions recently, so I, uh... Anyway, ask Wayne to make his way... is Make this back at the station. Please use it. Oh. What is it? Yes, uh, I'll have to explain later. But I believe this will have some effect against Coptimus and the creatures she controls. Thank you. I guess I'll have to wait and see what it does. Oh, uh, okay... Maeda's gun. No attack power. It's a basic handgun. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, got to only use Maeda's gun on your Coptimus and the creatures you control. Uh, <laughs> uh, this guy, this guy, yeah, it's going good to cop. I've really enjoyed this game. Um, we may complete it today. I don't want to speak too soon. We might be able to. Um, so what does it actually do? This is the question. Okay, we've got to ditch something to take it. Um, so I guess we're going to ditch a, a, a Medicine 3. Because we've got so many, friggin' many of them. Um, I came across some findings. Mm, yes. First of all, there was blood serum with Maya's name labelled on it in the freezer. My sister's name. And... Well... The research code for it was called Coptimus. Coptimus? Then Coptimus really is. What's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> it appears to have been made up of liver cells. He was culturing them in the past. 
What do you mean? What for? I don't know. There isn't any data left. But it seems Dr. Clamp has been culturing them for years. Recently, it appears he was conducting research on artificial sperm. Phacoptimus, of course. Phacoptimus? Uh, yes. He wanted to exclude the mitochondria from the sperm and create new sperm. Sperm with no parasites. Sperm with only the nucleus. Sperm without the mitochondria? Yes, he took the sperm that he created here. I wonder how I did that. And moved it to the hospital. There, he would artificially inseminate those who would volunteer for the experiment. Volunteer? I. Then, what was that HLA list for? Here is. Professor Clamp! You ordinary beings will never, never comprehend my level of research! Professor. I'm placing you under arrest as the ringleader of this operation. What you did. This isn't anything you can get away with. Do you understand? <laughs> you are pathetic, Brea. Why put yourself in the human domain by reciting meaningless laws? They're meaningless. Do you understand? <laughs> I guess you haven't told your little friends yet. Your mitochondria has special powers, doesn't it, Aya? <laughs> but sadly, you still have the form of a human being, don't you? You can say all you want, but I'm just here to arrest you, Professor Clamp. I'm not letting you interfere with Coptimus, you hear? Do you understand? Aya, look out! Oh, it's, oh, it's Daniel, was it? I thought it was in my idea. What was it? Yeah, what was that? I don't know, but yeah, Daniel, thank you for the save. Daniel, thanks. I, I didn't see the scalpel. Okay, yeah, I didn't. I didn't see either. I thought he was just gonna go back over and uh, fist thing. <laughs> hey, Daniel, how you doing, bro? Are you alright? What's going on? Yeah, I'm not doing. I guess I'm not doing serious voice acting in this game. I do. I do try and be serious sometimes. It's kind of semi serious, semi silly. Uh, but uh, we. Yes, it is. Man after your own name. There. Uh, he's a good guy. Uh, we have. So the bad, the bad guy in this game is called Eve. If you're not, sh if you're not aware, I don't know if you played this or not, Daniel. But um, hence Parasite Eve. Coptimus is redeemed that we change her name to his name. So <laughs> if you see any of that, then uh, that uh, that's what you get. How you doing, bro? You all right? How's um how's Snake Eater going? That's not one I've played. Uh, I do. I should probably do the Metal Gear Solid series at some point. I grew up with the first one, as a lot of us did, and then um, a few years ago I got the uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, which is obviously a completely different beast. And I'm not familiar with the overall storyline of Metal Gear. It's very convoluted, isn't it? Uh, but I do have Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and Peace Walker. So I wonder if I should uh, look at those at some point. Ah, it's quite long. You've got a way to go. Well, enjoy it. Enjoy yourself, Daniel. Um, is it good, Red Mage? Yeah, D Cannon. He's playing it at the minute. Um, he's got he's excellent streamer and got good taste in games. Um, a bit incomplete. So not being familiar, uh, Daniel, with um the uh the series really, um. I've, I've really enjoyed it. I felt there's a lot of flexibility with like, the missions and stuff, how you can go about things. But story-wise, I couldn't tell you anything about it. So maybe you you see it from a perspective that I don't, and you can make that judgment on it. But um, 
<laughs> indeed, indeed, very much. Uh, anyway, onwards. Sorry, let me wet the whistle. We'll get on. <clears throat> Just in time. Why didn't you shoot? You could have been killed. I know. It just didn't seem real. It felt more like... Ugh! He's conscious again. Put a boot on him. Dolis to the rescue, eh? I think uh, Dolis is uh, Daniel's uh, surname. Officer Dollis, why didn't you shoot me? What? I know you hate me. What do you want to say, huh? Of course I hate you. Because of you. The rain's... The rain? Hmm. So I see that your boy managed to escape. You? I should have killed you way back. Way back? What? Have they got history? Uh, someday you're gonna pay for this. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> hmm, will we? Um, what are you planning to do, Professor? Get arrested is what he's plan we're planning to do with him, I <laughs> <laughs> You'll love this. I am waiting for the birth of the ultimate being. The mitochondria is passed on from the mother, but you see, traces from the father can also be found in minute quantities. According to Coptimus, her sister in Japan was unable to attain her ultimate goal because... The farther side of the mitochondria caused a rebellion. For Coptimus to succeed this time, I created sperm without the male mitochondria DNA. The creation was a success. Coptimus is now pregnant with Melissa's body. Pregnant? How can that be possible? Damn! Aya, we gotta kill Coptimus! Let's go! Come with you, Cop. <laughs> you humans are so weak! So stupid! You may have been able to barge in here and do things your way until now, but things are going to change. I won't let you interfere with Coptimus anymore. Coptimus, can you hear me? You don't have to wait any more. I'm ready. What? What the hell are you talking about? Daniel, my Ada, run. She's going to blow the whole place up. Oh, my God. He got, uh, he got burnt up there. He jumped out the window, did they? Yeah. So I see. Your mitochondrial power doesn't allow you to burn. Why? Why stay here and try to save me? First of all, I'm a cop, and it's my job. And after all, I am human. Unlike you, scum. <laughs> like I said, humans are pathetic. Got his key. There we go. Alright, and again, we better ditch some this medicine. Wow, okay. There we go. That was that. That was a, that was a whole thing. Yeah. I think the I think cop's baby's juicing. Uh <laughs> yeah, that Kefka and Hydra. Oh, the, <laughs> I do like the the voice acting red mage but you've been a while around a, a, for a hot minute red mage you know that well i have some different voices i kind of <laughs> i don't i kind of reuse several variations on the same uh theory <laughs> uh yeah is that right daniel yeah yeah so that's something coming in from someone who doesn't really know i was just looking at it from gameplay aspect rather than the story aspect 
it's the mitochondria game, Braden. Um, <laughs> Cop. No, you're the pregnant alien entity bad guy, Cop. Did you, did no one tell you? And you're about to have a baby. Um... Uh, yeah. <laughs> All the lols. Um, I think I will. Um, I'll yeah, I need to refill anyway. I think I'll go make coffee quickly. A bit later than uh, usual. We've still got three hours. I don't know if that's enough time to complete the game. But now we've got the, this key to the room where presumably the T Rex is. And I feel if we kill the T Rex, that will allow us to get up to Coptimus. Um, and ki kill his baby, maybe. I don't know. Um, it sounds rough, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, I'll be right back, folks. Right, thank you for your patience there, folks. Let's um let's go to track down Coptimus's uh pet T Rex. And then that should allow us uh access to uh 
to his uh his birthing chamber. Right, so we want to go this way, I guess. I guess we've got options, haven't we? I guess we can come from uh, any direction, presumably. Yeah, I'm expecting it to. Yeah, yeah, I've got a, uh, I've got a uh, clamps key. Right, I'm just gonna do one of these, folks. As it's been a, a, a minute since we did, um, yeah, there you go. Since we uh did a proper one. Oh, I got a scorpion. Chisel. Oh damn! What am I missing so badly? I don't know. Ow! Oh, we poisoned, are we? Let me uh, let's see if I finish this quickly. There we go. Unless we just head up these stairs and this takes us up to the fourth floor in a different direction. It's possible. Yeah, because that's uh, the other door, isn't it? On the other side. Yeah. Not that it matters. So I was, at least I was correct that it was a separate room. Maybe we have to, but I think there was it was on the ground floor as well. Let me check up this way first. We might have to go back down to the ground floor, possibly. Ceratops boy, next. All right, it's going to take a few bullets, isn't he? Let's see what he's going to do. Oh my god! What the f was that? Oh my god! Chonky boy as well. High defense. It's gonna, you know. Kinda, oh, that was painful. Oh! Ay, ay, ay. Not very good at avoiding that, am I? Holy hell. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that does more damage than the, um... Than that bloody electric bolt thing does. I still can't really figure out how to avoid. Maybe you can't. <laughs> That's the idea. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What the hell? His head fell off. 
Now it's going full blown electric. Okay. Oh, I better be careful here. Okay, get around the side of it. You can avoid that. My God, tricky. Very tricky. Yeah, I'm kind of a, trying to just trying to tank this one a little bit. Oh, feels like. Getting some use out of these medicines, finally. Finally, my god, what a beast! Oh, damn, he gave you a lot of XP. Level up, nice, perfect. Level 33. Uh, parasite powers have evolved, liberate. Wow, what does, what does that mean? Liberation. Um, I don't think it's close to the end, but not, I think, it, so basically the game split across six days, uh, cop, and one day five, so, who can say for certain? Well, Ryan probably knows, because he's very familiar with the game, but, um. Yeah, what's that do? Liberates your mitochondrial control. Nah, fair red mage. <laughs> um, what? Another one? He reincarnated out of nowhere. He's knocked us off air. Ugh. Clearly, this was meant to happen, though. So I can't really be mad at it. My body feels like it's going to burn up. Well, that's not good. Oh, yeah, sorry, my um, battle points, bonus points. Let's get some of that. Nice. Oh, here we go. Oh! oh, hello. I'm very scared right about now. Um, let's try a scan. I don't think it will do much, if anything. Yeah, it just tells you hit points, question mark. You're like, oh, okay, cool. That's cool. Right, well, I will try. Again, I don't know if this will work. I'll try slow on him. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, yes. A fire breathing undead Tyrannosaurus Rex. I didn't know that was going to be a thing. Oh, I'll get some haste for myself. All right, how many bullets is this big boy going to take? A lot is the answer. Oh, wow, that haste is. Uh, Doing quite the job. Ow. 
got the full recover there. That's pretty good. So the liberate, I don't seem to be able to use it. Oh, that shizzle. I'm almost uh, dead here. Oh, now I can. Oh, maybe it takes all of you, uh, all of you PE. Maybe that's the idea. Should we give it a go? We've got to try it, haven't we? Liberate. What's going on? Oh! Oh! 228 damage. It's a combo. What? Just, yeah. Some, my God, what was that? Ryan, that's amazing. <laughs> Parasite limit break, yeah. He looks like a um, weird, like, freaky angel kind of thing as well. Oh, yeah, that was badass. There's like it's like, it's about a six, seven hit combo there. Oh, I really need to be getting some heals up in here, though. My God. He started doing another extra attack. He's not, like, getting slapped like that. He's like, oh, you, what? Who, who the bloody hell do you think you are? Doing that chisel on me. I'll play it safe. There we go. We turn to potions. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Here, Mr. T-Rex. My God, imagine if we hadn't done that super combo, that liberate. That would have um, level up. Excellent. That would have uh, definitely taken a lot longer. So, like, each of those com that liberate hits what, did 220 something, and our handgun shots were doing about 30 damage, 30 something. So, <laughs> boom! Check that. Level 34. Oh, we got a fancy new gun from him as well. The M8000. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 228 versus like 39 or something. So it's not to say we couldn't have killed him without that. We'd better save some uh, the PE for like heals and stuff, but um, it would have gone the, the fight would have gone a lot longer. Let's just say that. Uh, let's have a look. Um, oh, now what is that little boost there? Enters two commands. I think this gives us like double attack, doesn't it? Actual double attack. I think it does. It's <laughs> um, can't speak on uh, my Ada's gun. Ah, we might be wanting to switch to that. I won't worry about it right this minute. We definitely want to hang on to it though. Right, there we go. So I, I hope, I believe, killing the T-Rex there will uh, remove the goop from up on the door on the fourth floor. That's my hope, at least. Discover the exit. Wow, that was cool. That was very cool. I like it seemed like the attacks were um like auto hits as well. They weren't um oh here we go. 
they weren't like you know if you imagine if you did that ability and then they just like missed you'd be like Ugh. i think you probably want to get in the right position though there we go okay we can even do like a proper save as well and everything sweet Hey! Key! How you doing? You right there, Key? How's your room factory going? I bet it's going good. Hello! How are you doing today? How's your Wednesday? Welcome on in. Thank you for the uh, raid there. I do appreciate that. We've, um... Key, we just fought a, a giant zombie fire-breathing T-Rex and also turned into an angel. It was, um... It was pretty nuts. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, you're doing great. Excellent. I'm pleased to hear that. Yeah, look, you know, the thing with... The, the, the thing with working in a rune factory is, you know, you can make enough runes. There's never enough runes to be made. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. It was freaking amazing. So I don't know how much more left of the game we've got, but we're definitely making progress. And we're about to go and confront Coptimus. I mean, Eve. We've changed Eve's name to Coptimus now. Um, oh, hell yeah, Ryan. Yeah, the more the more I play of it, the more I enjoy it. If I had time, I would consider doing New Game Plus on it and trying to do that bonus dungeon, but I feel on or off stream, we just don't really have enough time for it. Right, okay. Now I was hoping this would have cleared this out, but it didn't seem to, did it? Did I miss something down in the T-Rex's room? I didn't pick up an extra arm, did I? I just got the gun. And the only thing else special, did I? I don't know. Um... Um, we definitely didn't pick anything else up, did we? And we went there on the second floor, didn't we? We would no, yeah, because yeah, because yeah, we got knocked down by the the weird triceratops thing. We put us on the first floor. Let me go back and check in the T Rex's room. I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I think for the stream, uh, Ryan, I'm inclined to not do the new game plus. I know it probably wouldn't take like an extra day or something, but oh. No, I'm not seeing anything. Anything I can suggest is we, um, that's what it should be something. It's not. Um, up on the second floor, going to the same, uh, I'm going to take the elevator, can't I? In fact, I don't think it really matters. Uh, I don't see anything in that same room because we had the same locked doors in the same place. That's all I can uh, think to do.
Let's go find out. Oh, no, right. Yeah, we already came in, didn't we? In Scorpion. Tidy. Um. No, yeah, because we'd already been through it. I don't think we had. Yeah, it was up to the third floor, wasn't it? And that's when we fought the Triceratops. I don't know if when they knocked us down, so I don't know if we got got to see everything up there. T-Rex, hopefully. Is that Coptima stomping about upstairs, giving birth? Right, yeah, here we go. Yeah, gloop, just glooped, can't uh, do anything about it. Oh, quite the variety we have here. Oh, blind today. Eh? Extra f f shot there. Weird. I don't know what that was about. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, um, what to replace, uh, Eve? Uh, it depends what it is, Braden. I mean, I'm technically that was just because I'll let. Technically, I shouldn't. Not shouldn't have let, but um. The idea of the name it is like literally when a game allows you to name something rather than me voice actingly refer to and change the name of something in the game. But as nobody had ever used it and that was kind of on the fly there and it's quite funny. Uh, funnier than maybe Coptimus intended it to be. Uh, <laughs> I'll let him have it. But um, it, dep so it depends what it is. Ask me before you redeem it, Brayden. Because... Uh, the game could get all sorts of silly if we're changing the name of everything. Uh, and then I've also got to remember it. So, um... <laughs> it's meant to be more like in JRPGs where you have, like, the protagonist doesn't have a name. You just literally name the character. Or if, like, in Pokemon, you just name your character and it doesn't have a name. Or, ideally, Pokemon as well, because Pokemon don't have names, do they? That's the, the major idea. But, um... Uh, so, yeah, it, dep it depends what you want to go for, uh... 
uh, Braden. Basically. I'm not going to poo-poo -poo your idea, but it, it depends what it is. Oh, my God. Look at the spare sperm you've left lying around, cop. Listen to the sound of it. We walk through it. Ew! Then we've got double Coptimus, though. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a problem. Cops on the other side. Have a little sink, by the sounds of it. Coptimus! Graphics are so very good for uh, PS1. God, so freaky. Shh. Sea Star. It's going, yeah, it's going well. How you doing today, Sea Star? Um, it's a wonder you made it this far. Hmm. So you're going to congratulate me on this birth? What are you planning to do, Captimus? Hmm. Perhaps you can help me answer that, Aya. Why do humans give birth? Hmm? Maya. Some freaky tentacles, sir. Uh, tendrils. Maybe it's more appropriate word. Oh dear. What's going on now? Oh no. Oh dear. I don't think bullets are going to work on that. Having a bad day, I see, Star. We can relax a bit. Okay, silver lining. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit creepy. I'm sorry you're not having the best day, uh, Sea Star. If you ever want to talk to me about it, more than uh, I'm more than happy to take time. Um. Are you okay, Aya? Aya. Daniel. Maeda. Both made it out okay. Yeah, we barely made it, though. Did you see that ugly mama? <laughs> we did. Um, that... That was everyone from Central Park. What? Then you're saying that the rain's a part of that thing, too? I'm sorry, Daniel. Uh, yes. It has become apparent as to what medication Melissa had been taking. What was she on? She was being administered immunosuppressants. Uh, immunosuppressants? For what? Why? Hmm. <laughs> Indeed, Ryan. Here's the story. Melissa had a transplant when she was a kid. Transplant? What kind of transplant? 
Yes, it seems that she got one of your sister's kidneys. After Maya died in an accident. A kidney transplant. So Melissa got Maya's kidney. Indeed. Your mother and your sister were donors. What? Really? I never knew that. Your mother's organs couldn't be transplanted after the accident. So Maya's kidney was transplanted into the young Coptimus. No, I'm sorry, the young Melissa. She had kidney failure. Then Coptimus's kidney is really Maya's kidney. The intern that was present at the operation was... You guessed it. Hans Clamp. Our main man, Clamp, wanted to become a doctor. The doctors that were present during the operation were all surprised and... They all screamed that the kidney was hot. Mm, no doubt. Thank you for hydration there, Brayden. I'll get on in a minute. Then... Coptimus is... It's hard for me to say, but the original was present in Maya. Coptimus killed the host brain, cultured the kidney, and obtained her own physical body. Then, that's what happened to Melissa. In her case, the immunosuppressant drug served to act as a catalyst. In Japan, Coptimus targeted a girl who had undergone a transplant. A kidney transplant to be exact but she was taking the same immune and and she was taking the same immunosuppressant drugs this was all so that coptimus would have a uterus to plant the fertilized egg in order to transplant organs it is necessary for the hla type to match it lives symbiotically with other cells so it's necessary to take immunosuppressants to control the immunity and avoid rejection. While being controlled by Coptimus, Melissa felt her body change. But she finally got the lead part in the opera. If she'd gone to a doctor, she would have been told to give up the part. So in order to avoid rejection, she kept taking the drugs and after taking so much, she was so weak that e the Coptimus was able to take over her physical body. Oh, that Coptimus. What a bad guy. And that's how she transformed into Mitochondria Coptimus. <laughs> kind of <laughs> um, So then, Maya is... Maya's the original Coptimus. In reality, it's Maya's mitochondria. Yeah, so there is no... For explanation purposes, there is no Eve. Eve isn't a thing. Eve has just named herself such. It's actually... Uh, Aya's sis young sister, Maya, who died as a kid, but whose cells kind of still existed. Um... Craziness. Yeah, let me do this hydration for Braden. Thank you, sir. You'd have to ask Optimus that, so he's done. Yeah, you should be fine. Hopefully, you'll be fine. There's a lot of my mitochondria in this game, Braden. That truly is. Uh, Roger, commencing operation, sir. Finally, the time has come to put our power to the test. Don't be impudent, Lynch. It shouldn't have come to this. Uh, yes, sir. For forgive me, Admiral. Calling all fighter jets. 
We have just received permission to attack. Commence operation. Head for the Statue of Liberty. As planned, Helicopter Team 1 will prepare for Plan 2. Team 2 will search and the rest will do their best to impede further advancement. Weird graphical glitch there. I read that a few times, but. What? Are you sure? The Navy's made their move. What? We can't allow this. We'll be repeating what happened yesterday with the jets. Uh, indeed. Oh my god. No! The rain! The rain can't be a part of that thing! A huge creature. Uh, no, those cells. They must be where Coptimus is giving birth. <laughs> where she's giving birth? Yes. The huge creature will act as a barrier to protect the ultimate being. All right, well, we've got to get in there then, presumably. How is the question? Well, that didn't work, did it? Oh. Wow. I, I, I. Lorraine! Helicopter's coming. Everyone duck. Cover your heads and... Uh, I just like what? Ain't it up? Alright, so we still got the warehouse. I wonder if we're, we're forced to go there to do something. Officer Breyer of the NYPD, correct? Ma'am, it's my duty to accompany you to the aircraft carrier. Accompany her? To the what? No. Oh. oh. Welcome aboard the Navy's pride and joy, the Nimitz. I'm Williams. I command this ship. Sorry to have you come on such short notice. Hey, you better not put Ayer in danger here. You, who do you think you are talking to the Admiral that way? It's quite all right, Lynch. After all, he is right. What, what do you mean? You're the only one that can't be ignited by her. I'm asking you to get in our chopper and nuke the creature. Hold on! I can't fly a helicopter! Not to worry. The chopper's been set to auto. So you won't have any problems. So, so she just needs to fire from a distance where she can't be ignited? Unfortunately, the weapon needs to be fired at close range in order to work. And we cannot move in that close since we will be ignited. Well... Hmm, but nuking, it seems like an extreme, uh, yeah, it'll be on auto. Just, it's going to be on auto. <laughs> auto what? Auto, auto pilot? Well, yeah, I don't think it can, 
Do helicopters have autopilot? They're not like drones, are they? <laughs> this is 1998, by the way. <laughs> Whatever, never mind. Something lost in translation or lost in... Uh... <laughs> Lost in uh, the storytelling. I'll do it. Aya, no way. You're not going up there. Our fate lies in your hands, Aya. Okay. Daniel? That thing. That's not Lorraine. Wow. Do it for Lorraine too, Aya. You're not going up there. Do it for my ex-wife. <laughs> wait, wait, Aya, please take this. Another little good luck charm, is it? Come off it, man. We don't have time for that right now. Y yes, of course. Uh, Aya, please be careful up there, okay? Of course, I'll be fine. Confidence. Sphinx. I'm very well, Sphinx. How are you doing today, my dear? Are you alright? Getting the auto helicopter. Maya. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, wow. The creature is within view. Switch to formation two. Good job it's on auto, isn't it? So she doesn't have to do anything. What? What's happening here? From the last battle, we were able to anticipate this attack. We were positioned this way for a reason. What you mean? Oh wow, well, your anticipation and your position didn't really work very well, did it? Yeah, don't, four days in a row, Sphinx. Don't go too crazy. You certainly, it's not unhealthy to exercise every day, but um, you can overdo it if you push it too hard. Rest day. Yeah, you're tired is what you're trying to say. Yeah, I bet you are. But good on you. Good on you, my dear. I respect it. We will act as your shield so that you will live to attack the creature that's sacrificing themselves. Okay, I'll see. What? No! I'm not doing this without your... Yeah, they're getting deaded. There you go. <clears throat> We're entering firing range. Prepare to attack. All right. Please move away from me now. We cannot abandon our duty. Besides, we're already within range. Slight of game. How you doing, son? Oh, you're well, buddy. This is insane. Since Christmas Eve, I've put a curse on my own body. Why me? Why is this happening to me? I, I don't understand. But I don't care anymore. Because Coptimus, I'm the one that can destroy you once and for all. Maya, I'll end this and let you rest peacefully. Coming for you, Coptimus. Get nuked. Forty minutes. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. That's a good amount there. Thanks. Sorry, that was that, was that a nuke there. That just seemed to be a, a an explosion of goo.
Wow. We did it! Well, do, you don't know you did anything, mate. Well done. That was magnificent. Return to base, Aya. No, it's not over yet. Oh, dear. Aya, come back now! It is too dangerous to continue. Return to base at once. We will plan... But you save your progress. I think we better, don't we? Are you are you sure? Are you still save? Yeah, we'll put it on a different slot, I guess. All right? Because it's locking us in for something. Yeah, we're not going back to uh, that save file. Definitely not. So let's save it there. You get. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Maybe, Sky. I don't know. It's a little bit ghostbustery, is it? if it is, isn't it? Um. Yes, Aya, please. I need to give you. Uh, everyone completely just disrespects my Ada. They don't let him finish sentences. They don't let him say anything or do anything. For oh, okay. Forget it. She signed off already. Damn. She got skinny arms, but she's she's kind of a badass. I'll give her that. Ew. I don't know why it does that. It's oh my god. Here we are, we're down here. Do, doing stuff. That's why it gave us a safe point. We're walking to the belly of the beast. Well, this is day five, so I assume that we're not having the fight. This is not the final boss fight, is it? Because, uh, I don't know, someone, something's got to, um, uh, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, we've got another day to go after this, so maybe this is kind of, this is the penultimate battle. So it was you. Maya. Hmm. I'm a the name of my host. Let me guess. Your sister? You have the ability to evolve. Why take the side of a doomed species? Humans aren't doomed. If my mitochondria has the ability to evolve, it'll evolve to get rid of you. Ah! <gasps> Love that sense of humor of yours, girl. Why is it that humans kill? Humans kill other creatures, and they even kill their own kind. We have our reasons, and you sure are a good enough reason for us to kill. Ah. All organisms have something called a territory. This territory is guarded from natural enemies. But until now, Humans had no such natural enemy. That is what has allowed them to prosper to this point. You beings must think your prosperity as history. But you're wrong. We mitochondria have lived within the human being and have allowed you to prosper. What? <laughs> we mitochondria have made you create the perfect environment for us dun 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 it was a it was a they were it was a plan all along yep 
yeah, considering, all things considering, Scotty, indeed. Humans have come to rely on civilization and have lost touch with innate physical abilities. Can't you see that it's the perfect scenario? What? Then you're saying that humans were kept alive for the mitochondria's sake? Hmm. You humans just served as transportation vehicles for us. What do you mean? Vehicles to transport us to the time the mitochondria would become free again. <laughs> but you see, the vehicle is no longer needed anymore. From now on, the mitochondria will become human beings and will rule this earth. Thank God. Not if, uh, not if, uh, IRS has anything to say about that. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Right, okay, let's go with the uh, haste. Now, let me. What happened there? Haste will be used. There we go. Right, okay, and then it's giving us options to shoot as well. What the hell? We've got multiple targets here. Right, her body, her arm, or a tail? I guess we'll go with the tail there. Weird, it's like a free attack. I don't really um understand it. And we gotta choose a target for the slow, so I guess I'll go with her face for the slow. If it makes a difference. Oh my god. That hurt quite a bit. I don't know why I'm getting an extra attack here. This is so strange. What I'm going to do, though, is... I think you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to liberate my madness. That's what we're going to face... Three, three, four. No, three, nineteen. I don't know if one of those missed there. Or if that's just uh, doing a combo, moving around. Yeah, I think so. Another medicine three. Oof. I definitely did a load of damage, but obviously, and you know, boss fights, you know how they be. Ah, there we go. I've killed uh, target three. Okay, that's um. Attack her in the f shoot in the face, maybe. Oof. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> um. Well, I guess that's her main body part, isn't it? So maybe, maybe not. Maybe we can move on to target two, her body, rather than her her face. Oh no! Been grabbed, I oh oh shizzle. Okay, <laughs> like it puts you down. <laughs> it's like okay, I'll, I want to grab you and try and kill you, but I'm gonna uh, 
I'm gonna uh, put you back down again. <laughs> give you give you a chance. Give you a fighting chance. <laughs> oh, it's because I'm confused at the minute. That's not good. Silly me. I've almost got a P energy back, so I can go for another liberate. Oh. And I can. Let's do it. I should, I should use a pre-raise, really. But let's, uh, let's just go for it. It's a bit OP, this ability, but as it does re require all of your P energy... I guess it's uh, reasonable. You can't, like, spam it or anything. Damn, still going strong. And it leaves you a bit dizzy afterwards for a turn. Oof. Far away to get on that hit. Cool. Kind of got lucky there. Ah, cool. She's only got a one uh, target. A tail and a body are technically destroyed. Well, what that counts for. Oh, jeez. Oh, gave her, gave her, gave her a little sixty-nine then. Huh? <laughs> I'll give you points for trying. I guess we won. We haven't really won though, have we? But enough of this nonsense. Watch and learn what evolution really means. Wow, I mean, if you evolve anymore. You're going to be unrecognizable. Oh, she turned more human looking. Oh, oh, God, it's still going. All right, it's like that, is it? Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh dear, I've got a bit poisoned up in it. Strong poison, my god. Very strong poison. Okay, and we got uh, stunned. Um, medic. We're rinsing our medicines, but it's fine. We've that's what they're for, aren't they? Okay, 400 is our current medicine, so I'll kind of only get the most out of those. I guess I'll just uh take a few hits first. <laughs> okay, now I need to <laughs> detox again. Oh dear. I think you can avoid that attack there. Ow!
Oh, oh no. I walked right into it. <laughs> Defense down. Oh my god. Ow! Oh! That's gonna help. Um. Should we use the full cure just to get rid of that defense down? I think we probably should. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I don't know if it's because she's leveled up. She's got some secret bonus where she um, gets that extra attack for some reason. It's, uh, it's oh, it's because I'm switch gun and I didn't even notice. I swear I'm a genius. That's what it was. But I don't know if I was meant to switch that gun. It seems pretty amazing, actually, though. Getting that extra attack, though. And so I feel that I probably want to stick with it. Can I... I don't remember equipping it. Practically genius. Um... Obviously, we can't... Uh... Are we using my Ender's gun? I don't even know what it does. Yeah, overall, I don't see the disadvantage of it. Let me, let me try it. Let me see what happens. Give it a go. Poison. Urgh. I will use it in a second. Ugh. Here we go. Let's use it. We shot with it. Now, does it do something special? I don't know. It seems to be trash. Honestly. So much for my poison defense armor. That seems to be uh, not doing too much for us. Why if my, if my armor changed? Did I just change my armor and stuff without paying attention? I swear to God, I'm practically an idiot. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm making up as go along. <laughs> Jesus swept. Almost got you know what ready to go. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, no, let's give that debuff first. Yeah, yeah, it's doing that effect. Yeah, I didn't realise. It's a T-Rex gun, isn't it? I didn't realise I'd switch to it, uh, Ryan, because I'm a freaking idiot. Basically. to avoid that, is there?
Oh, now I... Yeah. Right, heels are looking a bit thin on the ground now, folks. Oh, there we go. We got her. I... I don't understand. N no! You can't be our natural enemy. No! Or... Maybe we are. Oh no. Goo turned uh, crystal. I feel bad for Melissa, honestly. Oh, melty. Very melty. <laughs> Thank you, Sea Star. Yeah, we didn't you didn't get to see too much of that, uh in Red Dead, obviously the top of the game but yeah well, i do indulge in a bit of this uh sometimes it's good sometimes it's silly sometimes it's not so good you know sometimes it's consistent sometimes it's not um i know red major's favorite is ico from uh uh final fantasy 9 but done that but yeah as long as you're enjoying it that's what matters there must have been some mitochondria that underwent a different type of evolution think about it coptimus Think top. There we go. Day six, liberation. The final day. I guess we'll save. I feel we did okay. We did rinse basically all of our healing items. But we we do have some still stashed away at the police station, but probably they're on like level two, one and twos, and maybe a few threes, but I want to go for it. I want to go for it. Uh, I don't feel like I could necessarily done that boss fight that much better. So, let's go for it there. Excellent. Well, I'm glad to see star. I appreciate that. Do what, do what silliness I can to entertain. Right. So, we're not done yet, folks. We've got one more day to get through. Aya, come on! Aya, what's wrong? Ha! Huh, you were great, Aya! Shows that only my partner could put it off, eh? <laughs> yes. Aya, I'm relieved that you made it back safely. Why the hell did Coptimus have to bring all this to the Statue of Liberty? Why? Because of the ocean and what it symbolizes. The sea is the mother of all creation. This is where she wanted to give birth. Yeah, so I guess if we have dealt with uh, Eve, then we should have to deal with the ultimate being that... Uh, she gave birth to. Right. Well, okay. So. Playing around, messing around with freaking armor and screwing up. I probably equipped it to check it and then never sort it out properly. Got two tools. Uh, so I'm liking this uh, gun. I just obviously I need to transfer all of our um, uh, abilities over to, to it. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I need to pull the uh, ammo out of it first. Let me sort the freaking inventory. It's a freaking mess. Here we go. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, seven, three, and one. That's like a bad old deal. Boom. There we go. Nice. Nice handgun now we've got. Right. What now, though? That's the question. If you don't mind, I'd like to have some time to myself. It was Ben for all this. I guess they get evacuated. I don't know. Oh, are we heading inside? Oh, it's Wayne. What's he doing? Here? No need for this anymore. You take it. Give it a souvenir, huh? Y yes, thank you. Huh? Aya, Wayne came all the way from the precinct to see you. Yo, Aya! Uh, I'll be outside. The smell of oil makes me, um, rather queasy. What? I knew it! I knew you could do it! <laughs> when I heard that you blew that thing to bits, I had to come over here. Everyone's saying that you're the number one cop in New York right now. Yeah, I mean, I suppose she is, but... Yeah, it's not saying much, is it? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um Hey, what's wrong? You killed that thing. Aren't you happy? I guess you're in shock or something, huh? Yeah, um, you're probably tired too. I'll take the things uh that are in your way. So you rest up now, you hear? Right, okay. Um Guess we'll uh move that over. I'll hang on to my edge's gun in case there's something special about it. I don't know. Yeah, always one and two medicines. <laughs> Uh, revives. Hang on to those. Uh, I'm going to move that across. I assume we're going into, like, the end of the game right here. Essentially. Um, I guess I'll take it. If level two medicine is really gonna help that much, honestly. I guess I'll take the extra tool with me just in case we come across some other stuff. Got a, maybe got um random armor that might be worth. I don't know. I'm going to worry about it. Hey, as a souvenir for blowing Carptimus away, I'll engrave your name on any weapon. Oh. Choose a weapon and armor. What's this one? Yeah, it's good, isn't it, Twixie? It's, uh... Setting the vibe, definitely. Okay. I guess we choose our uh, M8000. I don't know what that does. Oh. Enter a name. We're going to go with I. Oh! M8000 I. Oh, okay. It adds it to the name of the gun, does it? Okay. Um. Bit random. Oh, that's a delete. Oh, unless you can, uh. 
You can get rid of the whole name, can you? No. Okay. It's just one backspace, is it? How do we okay that? Oh, there's one over on the end there. I'll backspace uh, the beat, I guess it is. I'll do. And armor as well. Okay, weird. Does this give us some kind of special bonus? I don't know. You only get. You don't do like one backspace. It's so strange. I don't think you can do it anymore. Do another backspace there. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it. There we go. Good armor. It's great being on this cruiser, eh? You gotta tell my mum about this. <laughs> oh, okay. Nah, well, I think we're good now, Wayne. Okay, how random? You got a telephone. Okay. Guess we'll do a safe. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't think it matters, Ron. Just do a weird little thing. Not like there, I guess. Well done. I've received some supplies from Admiral Williams. Please make use of whatever items you need. Oh, okay. I'll take medicine four. Sorry, but I don't have any more. Okay. <laughs> Medicine three. Oh, they give us four of those. My God. Am I? Nice. I should take all of this stuff, maybe. I guess we do. I don't know if we need all of it, but. Okay, so I guess we're heading back out onto the deck. One different way to go. Some Christmas, huh? Tell me about it. <laughs> no doubt. Sorry, we're late. We cannot approach the creature without absolute confirmation of its death. Your help was greatly appreciated. Please, rest inside. As citizens of the United States... What's going on? What? What is it? You're scaring me. That huge creature that the mitochondria was creating was... Not dead. It's not dead. Uh... Yeah, I did, Twixie. Yeah, I'll put them on the previous armor before we went to the museum. Um, so we're good on that account. Which, uh, good job I did, because if we couldn't go back and collect them, although, would they have been stashed with Wayne there? I'm not sure. Um, it couldn't have been the uterus for the ultimate being. No! Or, dun dun dun, it was. Oh, dear. So we killed Eve, but where the ultimate being is still being has still been born. Oh my god. 
Just everything explodes and sets on fire anywhere near it. Oh dear. Oh my god, look at that! Keep keep a child under control, please, Coptimus. What the hell is that? You've got to be kidding. That is the ultimate being. We didn't make it in time. What are these explosions? The mitochondrial energy must be out of control to the point that it is causing these explosions. We will escape by helicopter. Please follow me. Guess all we can do for now is run. <laughs> Aya, come on. Aya, what's wrong? I... I have to take care of this. Aya, no! That's what you said last time, Daniel. Don't worry about me. I'll be back. Please hurry. Shut up, man. Aya, please take this with you. Cut out the voodoo stuff already, huh? We can't be wasting time. No, give me the voodoo stuff. No, Daniel, please. This is different. It's not the voodoo stuff. Hurry, please. You two should go now. Why does no one ever listen to my idol? <laughs> Daniel ranking him around. Um, Aya, you're coming back no matter what, you hear? Yeah, sure. No matter what. This is the plan, Twixie. Oh. Oh, he, oh, he's small, isn't he? He, he kind of... It was hard to get an um, idea of scale, wasn't it? He's tiny, in fact. It's you or me who's going to be the one to make it through. That's the question. Right, okay. Weird little thing. Okay, well, I'm going to first, we're going to go for some haste. Oh my God, it's just shot a baby. I don't know if it will stick, but we'll go for some slow. Oh, oh. And as we've got full, uh, oh, maybe I should use a pre-raise. That's a clever thing to do. We'll just go for a liberate. What do you reckon, folks? Can we be safe and go for a pre-raise? Hopefully I won't need it, but... He's doing, he's slapping us around a little bit. We have that one ability so far. I want to make any assumptions. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, you know what time it is, don't you? Evolution time. Get to sit here a little bit better this time. Sorry, baby. It's not your fault. Just one of those things. Oh, oh, he didn't like that. I'm not getting slapped around like that. Oh. 
Yeah, red mage. You know that auto life. Oh. Is, is it growing? What's happening? Oh, that was stage one. That was the easy stage. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Let me, uh... Guess we've lost our, uh... Pace to get... Oh, I guess we've lost our pre-raise because it's done in stages. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Freaking about it. I guess, um, is it removing our haste? I think it might be. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh my God. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my God. It's in two pieces. I guess we probably want to take the wings out first. If I can hit it. I can't get anywhere near it. Oh, here we go. I should probably... Again, I should probably go for the pre-raise, I feel. I just have to try and... I'm going to get slapped around. Oh, I walked right into it. <laughs> Oh, fuck. My God, this is, um... This is, uh... This is a bit big... This is a bit of a problem here, folks. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should be... Get rid of this thing first. Oh my god. Aye, aye, aye. I think that will be easier to hit. Not like that. Alright, oh, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. When I got opportunity, I'm gonna slapped around. Ah! Oh, fuck my life. Here we go. I'm just gonna uh, liberate. And hopefully, it takes one out. <laughs> Get rid of the little crawler. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. You use liberate it. Just you attack wherever. Okay, that's fair enough. I can I can accept that. Oh god, this is quite epic. Okay, didn't like that. But this is the end. Yeah, you got to bring the, that big P energy. Red Mage. <laughs> my God, that was um, a little risque there. Oh my God, here we go. Oh my God. This... This is the mature being. Funny how it's a baby and you kill it and then it grows up and then you kill the adolescent and then it grows up. <laughs> it's like, maybe just don't kill it. Oh my God. 
Oh my good god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's slapping me around, folks. Okay, 96 per bullet. Oh, oh. If I if I get in up in there, my god. This is uh, rather tense, right? You know, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it. We've, we've just gotta hope for the best. I've got a feeling this might not kill it, but the, the amount of damage, the bang you get for your buck, it's uh, it feels like this is the smartest thing to use your P energy on. He's like, what? You, you did what to me? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That just homes in. That shit homes in on you, doesn't it? It doesn't do much of anything. Okay, you want to be close to him when he does that attack. Okay. Oh, well, that's not good, is it? Oh, okay, it did nothing. Weird. Oh, we ain't got him, have we? Now he's going to become an old man. What next? His ghost version. Oh my god. It's still growing. No, wait, is it still evolving? I don't know what I'm doing, folks. Oh, oh my god, oh my, oh, what the, what the fuck? Okay, they're not targets, those things. They're just stuff I generally very much want to avoid. Okay. That's not good, is it? One and two points of damage. Oh, okay. Let me think. Is there something I'm missing in terms of strategy here? Or something that's got to happen? I can't just be shooting bullets at it for one point of damage, can I? I'm just supposed to use my Ada's gun. Am I... Supposed to be using our uh, Liberate? It's a three-hour fight. Don't say that one. <laughs> Yeah, that can't be what we're I'm supposed to be doing right here. Let me try it. Why would he have a gun? It's like almost like he was like, I've got made this special gun. No, that's that's not it. That's not the answer. Okay, I've got my uh, P energy up. Let's give it a go. If anything works. If this doesn't, if it's just one point of damage. Oh, oh dear. Okay, I, I'm, um, I'm at a loss now, folks.
Oh. Uh. <laughs> right, no, I um I'm out of idea ideas now, folks. Unless it's unless it's like a boss where it's like and I have seen this in games before. Where it has like crazy high defense, so you can barely hurt it. But it has a proportionally very low amount of hit points. It, unless it's one of those. Um Welcome back, Af. Are you are you at work at the minute, my dear? What, what happened? I thought you said you had to go to work. Oh. Okay, we did something. I know you want to continue living. After all, you were just born. But I want to live too, like all other human beings. Well, we're getting cutscene, so this is a good sign, right? Damn! There's no end to this! If only we could get this to Aya! Bro, you should have... My Ada. I have to give you this thing, which is the thing that needs to be given to you for you to defeat the creature. And everyone's like, we don't have time for that! <laughs> uh, oh... What are those? They're bullets with IR cells in them. I was trying to give them to you earlier, but no one would listen to me or pay me any attention to what I was trying to explain. So that's what you were trying to give her. But I think it's too late now. There's nothing we can do. Idiots. Stupid. Give them to me. I'm going to throw myself out of this helicopter. Literally. He... He... Oh, right, yeah, it's going to say he didn't have a parachute. Not that it matters, does it? Daniel sacrificing himself. Oh, maybe, maybe it's alright because he landed in the water. Maybe. Daniel! This is from my Now, do they have to go in his gun? I assume not because um Oh it does and we've equipped it. So what if we'd what if we'd stored his gun um with uh with Wayne and we didn't have his gun anymore? What then? <laughs> Oh, there we go. 999. Have to stay alive for... Before we uh, use all these rounds, so... Uh, there we go. We have to use our own uh, mitochondria. Because we've already seen that, haven't we? In the, uh, in the lab. Oh. It's just not like that. Oh, I just want to speak this. Somebody put me together. Sorry. Not appropriate. Oh my god. There's got to be something on the cruiser to get rid of this. I'll see a flashing light. Okay, so we're not actually in combat. I guess I want to stay away from that thing. Um, heading inside, maybe? I guess. I'm going to flamethrower, but that, that's probably not what you really need. Oh, there we go. The engine room. This is, um, 
This is very Resident Evil inspired. Oh my god. Not it chasing you necessarily, but on the final boss fight, having to, you know, not just fight it, but having to pull out, like, some special weapon to use on it. Oh my god. Oh my god, Tempo. <laughs> this is the engine room. Down here is the engine room. What are we going to the engine room for? <laughs> I don't know. Press some buttons. Self destruct. The boiler pressure shoots up. I can blow the ship to bits. We've still got a couple of uh, my Ada bullets, don't we? Do you know where we are? We're in Hell's Kitchen. Um, you might want to get out of here, though, Aya. You can survive the combustion, but you can't, uh... Can't survive getting blowed up. self-destruct sequence has been initiated all oh, personnel please evacuate sorry <laughs> no i don't think she's intending to uh brayden but she, she better get a friggin move on or she will be oh it's fucking flying now oh my god oh, there we go It's finally over. Is it though, Daniel? Okay, so yeah, so he's he's set on fire, but he's he's um he's he's not injured and his uh his stash is fine and his clothes are fine. I don't understand. I do I have this power. It's because Maya is inside of you too, Aya. What? When your mother and your sister died. They transplanted a part of your sister into you. Into me? Yeah. When you were seven, you probably don't remember any of it, but... You were born with a defect in your right eye. And so Maya's cornea was transplanted into your right eye. My right eye? Then, what I saw when I touched Coptimus was... It said that when you have an extreme experience, what you see then is branded into the cornea. But that hasn't been scientifically proven. That was Maya's last memory. That was the last thing she ever saw. As for the mitochondria that was in Aya's body, I think it underwent a different evolutionary change than Coptimus. 
By living symbiotically with Aya's mitochondria, it still possessed Coptimus's power. From there, it evolved to the point where it could live symbiotically with the human nucleus. Oh yes, so rather than getting out of control, it lived in harmony. <laughs> Me and Maya, our mitochondrial power. Starting with the incident in Japan, and now with this, I wonder if this is a message to all mankind. Message? What kind of message? I guess we're going to kick your asses. We're coming for you. Uh, how can I explain? If the Earth is a single human being, we humans that invaded the Earth became like viruses out of control. We, in essence, are upsetting the natural balance of the body. This is definitely utter destruction. No, we're, we're not that weak. You see, humans are, in essence, parasites. You can say that we are parasites and the world is our host. That's one way, that's technically one way of looking at it. Look, the sun's coming up. Shining its bright, glorious dawn rays onto us parasites. Oh, there you go. I guess uh, Ben's all right then. Come on, Aya. Oh, I didn't. Wait. Oh, th thank you, Ben. Oh, okay, so I guess this is after the events. Okay. So day six is just basically the end of the game. We're not running around doing anything. I guess we've done it. All right. I'm not too good with these social events. Nah, not me. I love these things. <laughs> all right, Ben. We have to make up for Christmas Eve. Alright, I mean, that's your boyfriend then, Aya. He's gone. This is my first time, so I'm, uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> that's because you're with Aya and she's all dressed up. What? No, no. Uh, it's alright. It's starting, shall we? Dialogue skipping along too quickly. Uh, sorry about that, folks. They're all going out. Uh, to the opera, presumably make up for uh mm, yes the daniel and ben are late aren't they uh i thought they came in with us didn't they they'd better hurry it's about to start i want to add a little bit <laughs> but I feel I need to. uh the restroom must be really crowded yes that's probably it what's wrong you seem tense Um, yes, of course. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, well, since I'm going back to Japan tomorrow, I'd better make a move on you right now. Except Ben has just cock blocked me. Uh, <gasps> move, Maeda. I know what it said. Um, Ta Benjamin Cockblock coming in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh dear bless him father please give me permission to marry Coptimus oh Eve sorry Eva not Coptimus not an Eve now sorry <laughs> I forbid it. Coptimus is all mine. You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand, father. 
She is the one that has suffered after the deaths. She is evil. God, grab her and burn her at the stake for being evil and beautiful, but mostly evil. Father! If you are sentencing her to death, then ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward. Yeah, why is she evil? That's yet to be explained. Um, would you mind sitting down, you guys who are standing up there? Oh, sorry. Get with it, guys. God, you crazy kids. <laughs> Can't take you anywhere. Oh, Melissa. That's very odd. Well, it makes me feel bad for, honestly. I mean, I know a lot of people died, but... What? Like everybody in the city infected, but it's like laying is dormant within them. Yeah, Ryan, yeah, that the place burnt down, basically. It was burnt out. Um four days ago. Yeah, they did clean it up pretty quickly. Right, okay, yeah. Let's go mitochondria. That's <laughs> uh that's what it seemed to be. There we go, yeah, guys. That was um That's Parasite Eve. It's um I assume there's not like I mean there might be like a little cutscene after I don't think there's any more gameplay after the credits. That was, um... That's rather unique. I don't think I've ever played anything quite like that. Now, obviously, um, it was based on a, a, a you know, a novel. Um, but the game was clear, in my opinion, clearly inspired by Resident Evil. And Square wanted to do their own take on it. And they did very well. There's um, a few things about the game that are a little bit, you know, on the janky side. But not there's nothing that makes it unplayable. It's um, everything's perfectly forgivable. And um, most importantly, it's quite an experience. Yeah, I'm going to remember this one. I'm not going to forget this. Okay, I screwed the back lock. <laughs> There will definitely, I'll definitely do a, a save because I think you get to save to start your new game plus, so to speak. I don't know that will, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, cop, it's what that signifies. I guess it's just like a teaser to set up potential new other games because obviously there is a sequel to this that, uh, I think it was released like a year, like two years at most after this. Um, Oh, yeah, I don't know. I think um, both Ryan and Red Mage said it's basically they felt it's not quite as good as this one, but it's still worth a look at. Yeah, thank you guys. That was um, 
you know, I enjoyed that immensely. I don't think we're going, you know, so basically there is a new game plus, and in the new game plus, you you carry over your supplies, you carry over your um, weapons and uh, items and stuff, but I believe your, if I understand correctly, your level gets reset to level one. Um, but any any points you spent on with your bonus points to upgrade your inventory and your active time speed, I think they carry on. Um, and then the, you, there's like an alternate ending where you, I think from as soon as you do the Opera House and start day two, I read you can go there. It's another location, um, which is the... Uh, the cries of the building and to fight your way up through like levels and levels of monsters and um yeah it's like the it's like the secret dungeon the, or the the op optional dungeon now if you get the true ending i don't know but you know it's not like a, there's two different endings you have to start a new game plus to get a different ending so it's not like other games of their type of that type um <laughs> well you got to you got to experience it uh with me red maid so uh, he's uh he's already on the list it's already on the rest that list red maid just does not currently have any votes but i i added both yeah um so that's a lot of fun um, what about the warehouse, though, Ryan? Um, Twigsy, calm down with that, Twigsy. Bless you, Twigsy. Five gift subs, Twigsy. You did that enough on the Final Fantasy series. Don't be doing that, sir. Every time we do like a short game like this, this this is a, this was a three stream game. <laughs> so don't don't be you know going crazy, Coptimus. C Star, G Way, Ronathan, and William. Perfect. Couldn't have got some better people there. Bless you, Twigsy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, I'll, thank you, sir. And some bitties from Cop. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Not needed. Yeah, it's on the list, Red Mage. I mean, who knows? I don't know if, what, if Ryan's already thought about what he wants to put his votes towards in a couple of weeks. He might go all out and whack it straight to the top of the list or he might have other plans that's entirely up to him that's his privilege as uh, and his right as a uh, executive producer um yeah c star twigsy has got a habit of chucking gift subs around whenever we complete a game certainly doesn't have to hey ronathan how you doing there ronathan yeah twigsy's chucking some gift subs around and uh, you got one sir oh well we just completed um parasite eve um yeah you may have too much power it's up to you ryan it's your power sir you do what you want with it um yeah not nice uh outro credit song as well yeah i don't know if i have too much more to say about the game it's really good it's um it's, a, it's just it's one of those ones that was just never a thing over here in the uk um kind of like the Mega Man series as well it's just uh various you know video game series back in that golden age they where they took off in um you know the united states or even in other places in europe or other places around the world just never a thing i'm sure there must have been people over here who got hold of it or whatever but I never knew anyone who had it or spoke about it. Hookers and cocaine. I mean, <laughs> I can't justify spending money on those, Ryan. But if you want to spend your money on those, I, I can't. You know, fair, get more power to you, sir. Be sure to, um, you know, take some selfies and stuff with with the, with said hookers and cocaine. Um, that's all. Oh, that, that's all I would ask. But. Uh, <laughs> But I hope you well, Ronathan. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you've probably got far more important uh, financial obligations, Ryan.
Yeah, did it, Red Mage. I do wonder. I wonder if they felt it just wouldn't necessarily work uh, in certain areas. They kind of didn't... Um... Oh, was it Seastar? <laughs> it's funny that. I, um, I've um turned it off, so I don't get... Uh, I've turned that setting off, so I don't get... Uh see anything in stars anymore but yeah interesting coca so according to twitch cocaine is absolutely fine but hookers that's that's not uh kind of, kind of that uh <laughs> there we go and they give you a bunch of bonus points as well how many it's ticking off i can't can't click through it um interesting interesting uh red mage yeah Still going. Yeah, yeah, your debauchery days are behind you, Ryan. Yeah, four kids. That's I can't imagine having a single kid, Ryan. More power to you, sir. Yeah, Ronathan. Yeah, we, we just I just missed out. Oh my god, twelve hundred. Still going. Um. A diet. Okay. Slight, yeah, I'm sure it would be fine, but you know, either way, whether they're diet or bathing or it's all expensive. Um, still gone. Yeah, so much bonus. I think it's just for completing the game. I don't think it's like a, a rating for how well we did or anything like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, Ronathan start his own rival to the Twitch platform. Hookers and cocaine allowed. Yeah, all the points. These points keep going still. I'm gonna stop at three thousand. Is it just going forever now, folks? Oh, there you go. Oh, it gave us three thousand. I must have had seventy-three left over. Three thousand. That's thirty upgrades right there. Holy hell! That's insane. Yeah, cocaine zero. <laughs> no calorie cocaine. <laughs> um, thank you, Ryan. I'm glad you did, bud, because this, this was Ryan's choice. Um, Ryan is one of our executive producers, and he um he put a lot of his you know two two months worth of his initial votes. So he joined at the end of um one month, so he got two lots of votes in one go. He put them all on this game. He's like, I really want to see. Parasite Eve on the Isnib show, and there it was, Ryan. I'm glad you enjoyed it, buddy. I'd be, I'd be kind of annoyed, not annoyed, but because you know you vote for what you vote, and it is what it is. But I'm glad you enjoyed it, bud. I hope, uh, I hope it was, you know, enjoy. Yeah, you, know, you got something out of it. Um, um, yeah. I, seemingly, it does on my end at least, Braden. I'll say uh, things don't get started out for me anymore. Um. Yeah, Ryan with the big, the 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 largest P energy. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, oh, my bloody controller turned itself off. Maybe that was why. <laughs> Idiot! I'm pressing the button going. Oh, we just got to sit through this. It's because my controller had turned itself off because we sat through the. I swear to God, I'm such a genius sometimes. Anyway, save file. Okay, so I guess I'll just save over that one there. Yeah, extra round. Num round two. Yeah, level one. Okay, cool. So we saved. So we go to no. So we go to end. Now stream. I guess we've got a uh, an hour left. Yeah, insert disc one to start over. I guess. Um, let me just quickly do that then. Um. No. Oh, no information available. I want. To Okay, we don't want to... A quick menu. Um, Red Mage. Now, this may not have been your choice, but your love of the game, among many and all other things, uh, does, you know, does justify uh, the fact that you are... Uh, are over 9,000!
that many thousands. Let me just get uh <laughs> let me just get this sorted for uh red mage. Thank you for the flex there, sir. Here we go. Where we at? And a hydration, I'll get on that in a second. Saving my throat as well. <laughs> uh here we go. Where's where are you at, Red Mage? I know you're on there, but you're a little bit further down because you um you saved your uh your initial points for that get out of VIP, didn't you? Did you? Oh, have you boosted up a little bit, Red Mage? I don't. Oh, I know you're on there. But more than I thought, maybe. Oh yeah, of course you have, buddy. I'm not even paying attention. Yeah, sorry, what an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seventeen there. Oh my god. Thank you, sir. Flexing more than most. I mean, hydration. Anyway, yes. Let me. Uh, wasn't no information available. As if I care about that. It was um. Configurations? No. Information? No. Uh, quick menu? Yes. There we go. This control. Open this tray. In disk one, close the disk tray. Boom, there you go. Hopefully, no, like all good leaderboards, uh, Braden, leaderboards are forever and all time. Much like my um, if you look at the top of the stream chat, you see the, the total gift subs there, and then if you scroll, you see the uh, bits. Um, provide you know big bits leaderboard. Um, some people, some streamers set them by monthly. Some people set them. Uh, some streamers set them by weekly. Some even do daily. Now, obviously, that means the leaderboard never increases, uh, but it encourages people to give gift subs and stuff and and bits because they go. Oh, I'm on the leaderboard, and it's like, well, you're on the leaderboard for one week. What does that mean? So much like that. Uh, the flex leaderboard is for all time. I, I think of it like uh, video games. You know, if you're not going to uh, an arcade machine in a bar or something, or, uh, you know, pinball machine, it has a high score. Imagine if they set the re reset the high score every every week. You'd be like, what's, the, what's the point? No, Braden. any flexes you do, sir, if you're inclined to do, they stay there forever. Uh, if that is what you want to put them on. Um... Yeah, exactly. Resets in the next life. In the Isnib show 2. After we've all died and come back to life. That's the only time it's resetting. Uh, <laughs> uh, i got an hour. I mean, should we start up the uh, X game? Just see, just see how it starts and how it presents itself. So the warehouse, Ryan, did we miss out? Is that like the uh, initial bonus dungeon? Should I have gone there? Oh my god, sorry. I need to click quicker. Um, I slowed it up just out of interest. I want to see how it kicks in. We're not, not going to commit to getting through the whole of the Chrysler building, but we've got we've got an hour. If it doesn't seem, I don't. We could start our next game. We're going to get do so very little on it. It doesn't feel like it's worth it. Okay, so we. I can't unfortunately. Um, Skip the opening cutscene here. Yeah, exa exactly, Braden. Imagine, imagine that. Your, your high score is just lost. Ah, interesting. Okay, so I, uh. Was it locked in from the museum? So basic. So you do have to do it um, when it unlocks. So, so by the point we uh, dealt with uh, Eve at the um, in the museum, we were locked in to the end of the game, then, weren't we? So it's uh, basically this is what I've read, Braden. The Chrysler Building is the secret. 
the final ultimate dungeon in the game um which is only accessible from new game plus you can't get to it in your first playthrough uh and there's like a lot of, it's the hardest area there's a lot of monsters uh and um it takes a while to get through and uh you uh it's got like the toughest boss it gives you gives you another separate ending which i guess is the correct ending or to trending i don't know i don't know um how to interpret that okay i guess we'll just <laughs> i uh oh! I guess we'll just maybe blast through this for a, a bit. Just so I can I just wanna kind of more see um There you go. So yeah, she gets put down to level one. And she's lost her items. Or has she? No, she hasn't. Damn, yeah, there we go. So that's a decent gun. And uh Good armor. Good armor. Um, but you lose uh, your bullets by the looks of it, seemingly. Um, all your inventory space there. Oh, okay. So your bonus points, I guess what it's done is it has refunded all the bonds you spent, hasn't it? That's what it's done. Got ya. There we go. Suddenly we're like, oh, I've got a load of inventory space now. <laughs> um, okay. Let's, let's just quickly run through the opera house, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it, it's a bit mysterious. And the the ending we just got was a bit mysterious, wasn't it? Because um, it hit. You know, they saved the day. They killed the creature. They got rid of Eve. They got rid of the uh, Eve's child. Everything was essentially explained. But then in the opera house, everyone's got that glow in their eyes. So you know. I forbid it. So yeah, um, I guess we'll start a new game tomorrow. I don't necessarily feel the need to, um, try and do the Chrysler building. I mean, in actual ter time terms, it might be, um, it might just be like another stream. It's worth. But I, uh, as it would like be no story and just constant combat, I don't know, um, if that's, uh, you know, I feel like we've covered the game is what I'm getting at. And it was, it was rather amazing. I'm looking forward to whenever the sequel comes up. I'll, I'll say that. Um, I know. Imagine that, Red Mage. No, uh, it's not DLC. It's not a loot box. You don't find it in a loot box. <laughs> uh. I, th I mean, I don't think you have to go far, Ryan. I think it, when what I read yesterday, it said um, once you get to day two, you can get in there. But... Uh, I don't know. Well, when we can have a look now, I can say we've got 50 minutes to mess around. Yeah, look at the damage that was done. People died. Would, the, <laughs> would you go to the same opera house? They're like a couple of hundred people had burnt to death. And they cleaned it up for, for within four days. Bear in mind those four days. 
uh, well, five, five days, six days, or about, let's say, a week. Let's say a week. Uh, they've cleaned up the place. And, I mean, the city was evacuated. So, really, it was uh, just a couple of days. They cleaned up the whole place. Got all the co charred corpses out. Buried everyone. And, uh... And, uh, yeah, I fixed it. Look at, look at the fire. <laughs> it was a blazing performance, Red Major. <laughs> Watch this. This is funny. <laughs> awesome. Let's go get those bullets. That police officer. Knocks that guy out of the way. That's a that's a date as well. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh, okay. No. We the police. We have to wait for the police to turn up, don't we? Okay. But yeah, I'm um I guess um that the uh the second game, obviously there was some it'll either be a case of there was another person who also Yeah, because we know, you know, Maeda said there's somebody in Japan. So there'll be another person who pops up with Eve's mitochondria in them. Um I guess that would be the the most likely thing. Or there was some like leftover from the creature we killed at, at the end, the old, the perfect being. Oh wow! I should have just on that right away because <laughs> she had to wind up on that didn't she Okay, yeah, so we get to the big hole, don't we? And then we, uh... And then you head back. And then the police should be there. And I'll get, like, a crap ton of uh, bullets. I thought, I'm well, sure it said your storage items get saved, but... Maybe it's just your storage and not your inventory. I don't know. But guys, yeah, I, I can let you know our uh, next game we'll be starting tomorrow on the top of tomorrow's stream is uh, a follow-on from a, a previous game we've uh, recently covered. Uh, we are going to be playing Dragon Age 2. Uh, obviously, we played the first one somewhat recently. Oh, they're not over here already. Maybe I have to look at the... Uh, maybe I have to look at the hole to get it to activate. Um... Now, anybody who doesn't know Dragon Age 2, it's, um, of the trilogy, I feel it's maybe the weakest of the three, but only by degrees. So, some fans of Dragon Age even kind of dismiss it, um, and, uh, 
any of the criticisms, I will address as we're playing it. But we need to cover it for uh, the, the uh, trilogy. You know, we can't start Inquisition at some point in the future without having to play Dragon Age 2 first. So we'll start it tomorrow. I don't think it's... I don't think I've got... I don't even know if there's DLC for it. And I don't think I've got it if I, well, I ha there have. So it won't be as long as the first game. Obviously, it'll be longer than Parasite Eve. Um, there we go. Let's look at the freaking hole first. <laughs> Sound like my backup's arrived. All right, let's go get that ammo. <laughs> um, I swear to God. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm uh, excited about it. Um, so if you, I mean, if you don't know it, then I'll uh, guide you through it. But if you do, um. It's, it's, I guess I'll get into it tomorrow. It's uh, slightly different how you choose your character in the second one. It's um, yeah, I don't think I have it. Af oh, Felicia Day is in it. Oh my god, I think that's cool. I do like her. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, Red Mage. You uh, have a good evening, my friend. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. But yeah. But yeah, regardless, I'm looking forward to it. You got all the ammo. Indeed. Remember when I thought like sixty bullets was a lot. <laughs> yeah, you take care of yourself, sir. Yeah. So Af, um, Afleen was the. She wasn't the only votes who put towards it. I think uh, Scotty put um, a vote towards it. That is, um, in fact, you end up with equal votes to this. I just chose to play this first because it's um, a little bit different and it's a little bit on the shorter side. Um, but, uh, yeah, have you played the DLC for it, Af? I don't, I don't think I have it, so it's, um, we're going to have to manage without, basically. Yeah, was it good? Yeah, I do like Felicia Day. I assume she was just a random character in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're not missing much then. <laughs> so, uh, as you as you like the I'll say the main person. It's for every, obviously the streams for everyone. But um, just to let you know, Af, and I think I already mentioned this to you and anybody else. Um, so if you're here for Dragon Age Origins, you know when you make your character, you get to choose um. Uh, what, you get to choose like a background that's not really the case in uh, Dragon Age 2 Also, you get to choose your background you get to choose your uh, race human elf or dwarf and obviously with some exceptions you can't be a, a dwarven mage um, etc uh, and then your background like if you're like noble or commoner or whatever you know, the Dalish elf, she could be like, uh, you know, Dalish elf or city elf, etc. Um, I believe that is not the case. In Dragon Age 2, although I've not played Mass Effect, I think it's like Mass Effect. So anyone who has played Mass Effect, the main character is a guy called uh, Commander Shepard. And I think you basically could choose male Commander Shepard or female Commander Shepard. That's it. I don't know. You can choose like your class or your stats or whatever. Um, but uh, it's kind of similar in Dragon Age 2. You play an individual called Hawk. Uh, I don't remember Hawk's background and story. We'll find that out tomorrow. Um, eat. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Hawk is human. And I think you just get to choose male or female. 
Um, I'm probably going to go female just because I've only yet the two two play. I think I've played it through twice. Two playthroughs I've done of Dragon Age. Two. I've gone with a, a male hawk. Uh, so I guess we'll go female hawk just to for mix it up for my own self. Um, and you do still get to choose uh, warrior, rogue, or mage. And as I've mentioned before when we were discussing Dragon Age, uh, just my own disposition uh preconceived notions uh i like to go uh, as we as you saw rogue in origins uh, uh warrior in uh dragon age 2 and then play a mage in inquisition so it'll be female warrior hawk when we start tomorrow um so uh yeah that's what yeah so i think i've got that right Athelene. and then we'll uh we'll see how we go like I say, it's uh, Twigsy, you're off skis. I'll see you tomorrow, sir. Thank you so much for those um, gift subs, buddy. You did not need to do that. I appreciate you greatly, sir. Um, um, I hope he caught that. I hope he, he had to run away there, but he's got a... I think, I think he's uh, just leaving work at the minute. I think that's the idea. Um... Yeah, I can't remember where we went on this first section. We'll soon find out. Um, but yeah, like I can say, I, I, f I feel, and I think the majority of the Dragon Age fandom agrees, it is the weakest of the trilogy. But it doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't mean it's a bad game at all. In fact, it's a very good game. It's just, you know, trying to live up to the high standards of Origins and Inquisition. And it's not perfect. Let me tell you that. It's, um... It does have its issues, which I'll point out as we go through it. But overall, it's it's more of the same. It's, it's similar fare. It's um it's a, a good story in its own right. Um, I guess I'll just save that one there. Did you, Ryan? Okay, cool, excellent. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I guess I was just making a generalization. Same. Okay. So Inquisition might not get floated in for a little bit. <laughs> or maybe it will. I don't know. Okay, I I enjoyed Inquisition more than uh, 2. But I still very much enjoyed 2. And I'm excited to uh, get into it. Alright, where's that parrot? There we go. How important it is. Yeah, I just want to get through this first uh, day and uh, see if we can get just to have a little look at what's what. Oh, did I, was I supposed to pick the key up in there? No, through here. Oh! I didn't know that, Af. So, wow, okay, that's interesting. So, curiously, without knowing that, I have actually, the times I've played Inquisition, I have played as a female elf. The reason that I've played as female is just because I played as male in the first two games. And the reason I played as an elf is because I wanted to be a mage and elves get, they get like a plus one to magic or something in the long run by the time you get to like level 20 plus it makes no difference but it's they're going you could argue that technically they are the better uh you know better majors that's the only reason i did not realize i was getting extra content that other people other other races and were not and genders were not what feel free to tell me the reason what that is about what so i was un completely unaware Dialogue. So, what dialogue options are you missing out on if you're male or not elven? So, if you're male dwarf, screw you, matey. I've, I've <laughs> you got too much beard. You're not allowed to talk. Okay. Okay, that, that makes 
that gives me a bit of a clue there. Yeah, probably leave it at that. Um, interesting. It shouldn't... Yeah, so s some... Oh, it's not loads, though, is it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is loads. Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Interesting, though. But we shall see, because that's... That, all those on the list, has not currently has no votes. So who knows when we would get to that. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> Imagine being that guy. As soon as you exist, you die. I think it's all relative, isn't it? Entity, entities who lived much longer than humans would probably... Uh, view us in such a light. Right, yeah, so if you go male dwarf, then you miss... I didn't realise it was uh, a lot of Im important plot points, Af, but... Who knows? I don't know or remember, so... And obviously, like I say, I, I already experienced the full version, so who knows? Yeah, and it's a problem if you feel like you've been shoehorned. Because that's like not... That's not what Dragon Age is meant to be about, is it, really? I don't know. We shall see. So I want to let you guys decide. Obviously, I'm committed to uh, being a mage. That's my only stipulation for that game. You guys get to choose the rest. So, I mean, you could, you know, elf maybe because just because they're better, fractionally better mages, but also it doesn't really matter to me. So it's kind of what you guys want to do. But as I say, we, we, that's not even lined up yet, so. Did I get his uh, key? I thought he dropped the key. That's the key. <laughs> Got their end. I thought that, um, I thought that parrot attacked us. Oh, he is. There we go. It was fine.
Ah, of course. Yeah, this is uh, Melissa's dressing room, isn't it? That's her diary. Eve will always be uh, very scary to me. And she's very, um, I would say iconic look, but it's very distinctive. Do you know what I mean? She's not just like a random weird monster. Well, she is a random weird monster, but she's not just a, you know what I mean? <laughs> I assume I, yeah, because you've leveled up, you've, uh, There we go. Is that enough? Can't help himself, Iron, can he? I feel like the scan ability is completely worthless. <laughs> Honestly. But hey ho. Thank you for the alert, Ryan. Off skis, are you, buddy? Um. Yeah, got to be, do some adult in before the kids come home. No, absolutely. I'm glad you did, Ryan. I'm, that's, that means the world to me, buddy. I'm looking forward to what uh, you want to get us to be working on in the future, sir.
So I think in the Chrysler building, basically, I think there's like 70 floors, basically. And the first bunch of floors, the enemy's not too hard. But I think the idea is to successfully get through. I meant to pick up that box first. I was trying to get to. Um, you still kind of want to play through the majority of the game. Uh, and do like, get up to like day five. Just then just don't go to the museum like we did at the start of today's stream. Um, just to like level up and get enough stuff. Um, alternatively, of course, you can just grind the lower levels in the building but what I read it is kind of suggest that it's in your best interest to uh, do that oh wasn't close enough for this foggy oh yeah Um, press the switch. Don't think we need to really use the phone at the minute. Captimus! Of course, it's the uh, the crocodile thing, isn't it? Which wasn't dreadfully awful when we fought it the first time. But now, I feel like... Oh, okay. Ah, you have to kill its tail first. Not realise that. Slapped around. There we go. So I just went for its tail last time just because I was like, ah, that seems like a good, good thing to do. There you go. Now it's gone. Kind of. Probably helps if I'm uh I like edge kind of stood there. <laughs> Could uh, I could just use this as like, uh, like a hangout game, like off streaming, but like off Twitch. Just I don't know. That's the problem with hanging out in the evenings is um I can't really talk on mic. That's the only issue. And watch uh, Daniel smack this guy. A stonking punch. And and uh, sucker punch as well. Just whacked him in the back of the head from behind. So like...
Oh, excuse me. Oh. It was pure terror, but... So it's filled with familiar memories. Yeah, yeah, of course. There we go. So, um, I assume now, once we've done like the cutscenes at the uh, at the police station, we can just immediately head out towards the Chrysler building, and maybe even the warehouse, or maybe that the warehouse doesn't count. Like I say, you I think you basically need to play the majority of the game, practically speaking, to get through the Chrysler building, just to like level up enough and progress through the story, get you know, supplies, armor upgrades, weapon upgrades and stuff. Um so I think you can probably like steamroll the first like twenty floors and then you'd be like way under leveled and you'd be too difficult. Um that's the impression I got from what I read. Um, but if you kind of maybe do the first 10 floors or 20 floors, then come back to it, do the rest of the game, and then go back there. Including probably the warehouse. I guess the warehouse is locked behind day five. That's probably what you want to do. But um, I don't know. I suppose we'll go have a little look. Unless, of course, we can go to the warehouse... That's also unlocked in New Game Plus from day two. I wonder what was there, though. Like Ryan said, Ryan said that he always did the warehouse and he didn't realise... He, he was under the impression that you have to do it. It wasn't uh, skippable. All right, mod permit. Okay, cool. Thank you, boss. Interesting. So new game plus Wayne is already here. Torres is presumably like already dead or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, of course no. Yeah, so Wayne starts here, doesn't he? And Torres comes along and be like, "Oi!" Silly me. I thought it had changed. It hadn't. I guess we can use this now. I suppose we can add it onto our uh, M8000. I guess that's not the game gun you are settled with, but that's that's what we're using for the time being. But um, oh, I didn't see that you need an empty slot. When we're moving some upgrades around, I don't know.
Yeah, look, okay. That, yeah, it's got all of our guns in there. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, so it did keep everything in there. What about... um? Yeah, it's a shame. I guess because I didn't have it equipped, I should have stashed the th level 3 club. Basically. Because that allows you to steal items. Um, if you were to want to farm... Uh, apparently, I think it's in the first set of 10 floors in the Chrysler building. There's a lot of burbs. And obviously, that's who you want to... Uh, That is indeed who you want to uh, farm to get your scrap. I don't know how practical that is. No, not really. I'd move. Um, I think you need like three bloody hundred or something, so I don't know if it's even worth it. Uh, but you do get like the best gun in the game, so I think that's like uh, something. I don't know that you need to do that to uh, complete the Chrysler building, but I feel that uh, it's um, you kind of want to if you're going to bother to take the time to do it. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll. I don't know. Maybe not on stream, but maybe I'll like do more in this game and keep you guys in the loop. I don't know, we shall see. Um, I don't need this level one medicine store. All that crap I've got. I mean, seriously. <laughs> uh, I guess I should keep these with me and just junk them as and when I don't need them, because uh, I really don't, I guess. Mr. Wrong with the hydration and the stretch. We're finishing up very soon, buddy, but uh, I'll take those anyway. How you doing, sir? I hope you're well. Oh, a little bit crunchy. Come in, Bell. Oh! Mm. Oh, how you doing, young sir? Are you all right? Young Stephen, I hope you're well. Feels like it's been a minute since I've spoken to you. You're all right. Is Tim all right? Are the kitty cats all right? That's the main... That's, these, these are asking the important questions here on the Instagram show. Ah. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. I swear to God, I could never stretch that lower back enough. I could spend the next hundred years just trying to stretch out my lower back and it would not be enough. Here we go, I'll do this one ended. Let me ask you this, Stephen. Have you uh have you played have you played Parasite Eve? It's freaking Ben wandering around over there, isn't it? Ben. Right, so I believe if we just go now to the the map, we should be able to go there. <clears throat> oh yeah, you got the vid, didn't you? He got foot surgery coming up, but he's all right otherwise. God bless him. Yeah, there you go. Cries the building. Right, because you definitely can't go to the warehouse. I wonder what is in the warehouse. I assume it's supposed to be good gear and stuff. 
Let's have a little look at the Chrysler building then. At least. Sorry, bro. What the fuck? Two of your cats were stolen? Yeah, it does have uh, Resident Evil vibes. Yeah, it's very much so. Take Resident Evil, make it into a JRPG. This is, uh, that's Parasite Eve. What the, how were your cats stolen? Which ones? And what the fuck, bro? What? Some freaky neighbor? It's like, oh, I'll see those cats. I want them. Fuck. Who the fuck steals cats? Psychos. Yeah, Strahd and Raven. Yeah, they're little cutie pies. I remember when I spoke to you, they were like, you know, running around, climbing, you know, <laughs> climbing on you and doing all sorts of stuff. What the fizzle? Seriously, bro. All right, need a key to use the elevator. Okay, so you go straight up here. No. <laughs> So you reckon one of your neighbors, like na when you say neighbor, Stephen, do you mean like neighbor in the neighborhood, or literally the person who whose house is next door to your house? So you reckon he just happened to see your cats, maybe like tempting them over with tuna, and was like, "Yo, cat, you live with me now, uh, and I don't want your, you know, your dad seeing your net who live next door." So, I'm just going to keep you in the house forever. The fuck? And of course, you, uh, there's no proof, is there? And if you go knock on his door with questions or accusations, he's just going to deny it. And he's like, you've got no proof. And you're like, no, I haven't. Unless, of course, that's fucked up, because presumably you let your cats out of the house a little bit, and he's going to have to, f for the rest of their life, keep them, make, force them to be indoor cats, because obviously he can't risk them going back to you guys, or you seeing them and being like, what the, what the fuck? Oh, okay, not to, so he stole them, but not to keep them. As in to literally go and sell them or just like give them away. The f Jesus Christ, man. I know, I, I know what those, I've been in those situations before, Steve, where you're like, you've got no proof and you don't know 100% what happened exactly, but your gut, your instinct is like, Motherfucker, I know what happened. I know who is responsible. I've got no proof. I can't phone the police. I can't... I don't... I don't know 100% enough that I can kick this motherfucker's door in and start kicking off. I guess in your phys current physical state, you probably don't want to do that anyway. But <laughs> um, Certainly not Tim. But uh, you, you know in your gut, you know in your heart what happened. Bro. I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Wrong. I wish there was something we could do about it. Bro, I'm so sorry. Yeah, because you've got no proof and you can't start, you know, police. Do the police even care? Of, like, in the UK, cat dogs are protected by law. Cats are not. Now, of course, if you uh, are just like a psycho who's torturing animals, you will get caught. But, like, um, God damn. Um, Okay, so you just randomly talking to him, 
and he was like, oh, yes, cats wander around the neighborhood. I'll get rid of them. And then your cats go randomly missing. Oh, in your town. It's not, not a state thing, not an, an area thing, just in the town you live in, Stephen. An animal limit per house. Okay. And is that you guys were in that limit? Or you reckon or you guys were secretly over? And he was like, Ah, those fellas next door, they've got too many pets. I'm going to do something about it. Right, okay, so on the technicality, but it's, it's probably one of those technicalities that most people don't give a fuck about, and especially if you're an animal lover, you know. But you reckon he might have got wind of it and gone, Ah, I don't like that. I'm going to steal two of their cats. Dude, I'm so sorry to... Uh, that's a thing you've had to deal with. So I'm, we're not going to do too much of this. I just want to look at the uh, at the Chrysler building. So you just run in here. Let's see what the enemies are like. It'll be easy on the first floor, I imagine. Okay. Not so easy that... Their um, chump change. They're tougher than their normal counterparts, basically. Okay. Okay. Terrible XP. And then junk. So, uh, so you basically just need to do another 300 of those. And then you've got your gun. <laughs> so that's, uh, you know, not ideal. Right, so I guess you, you go up the stairs and then it... The floor loops around. Oh my god. we've got okay so it does so let me uh try uh using the club it stole junk okay nice i guess you can't steal multiple junks can you yeah no that would be weird <laughs> Level up and load of junk. Okay, I see. Um, sorry, the the lady living in the house before you had eleven dogs. That is insane, and seven foxes. Why has she got foxes? I, I didn't. Even... Yeah, how'd you get how'd you get any number of foxes, a sea star, let alone seven? Uh 
Yeah, 16 fishing tanks. That's, yeah, that's whatever, isn't it? Um, yeah, foxes are cute, but what the, what the bloody hell has she got pet foxes? What is... I don't understand. What is that even about? <laughs> What's... What is that? I don't understand, Stephen. What... Why... She, foxes? Is that... Is that just a normal kind of thing? That's not normal, is it? Yeah, and it's weird if anyone would kick off about that anyway, because it's like, um... Oh, oh, freaking bats. Freaking bats. Oh. Oh, we just got yeeted there. Okay, I see. <laughs> I see. Okay. Came over. Okay, we got the idea of what the Chrysler building is roughly about. So I reckon at that screen there we were at, um... Let me just, uh... Go into that screen. Yeah, let's jump over for a minute before we wrap up. Um... So that screen we're on the dinosaur, if we'd taken one screen to the right there, then we would have been able to go up, and that would have taken us up to presumably floor three. And then you keep going round and up, round and up, round and up, round and up, progressively tougher monsters. Apparently every ten floors there's a boss. And um I think you get I think you eventually when you get to floor seventy seven, there's the ultimate boss. And then you that's your new game plus ending of the game so the idea is you would i guess if you want the ultimate gun which i guess you probably would i would you um you go and uh farm those two groups of birds there and if you use your baton which i wish i'd kept the level three one but tough titty um you steal scrap and get scrap you probably get in those two fights if you, if you stole from all of them you could be looking about getting maybe 10 scrap in those two fights and i guess you leave you could turn that into wine and you do that about 30 times that's a lot uh and then you can get the ultimate gun even if, which you don't have to do the other option is you just ignore the chrysler building you play through the whole game like normal uh, you know, which you've got your decent starting gun and decent starting armor, and also you've got all that uh, those bonus points. Um, so you're definitely at an advantage, and of course you've got the advantage of knowing the game. Uh, you travel through like you usually do. Um, uh, then when you get to day five, you do not go to the museum. You head to the warehouse. You do whatever is at the warehouse, and then. You should be tough enough, strong enough to go and take on the Chrysler building. And even if you do take the time to get the scrap, to get the ultimate gun, you should probably do the rest of the game anyway, and the warehouse, and then the Chrysler building. I believe that's the general idea of it. Obviously, Ryan is sorting out stuff at home, so he can't uh, com confirm, neither confirm nor uh, deny that at the minute. But uh, so we're not going to stream any more of this but you know maybe i'll do some of this off stream maybe i'll hang out uh in discord and and, and stream so i don't know i don't know what i want to do with it it's there if i ever want to come back to it um sorry should sorry let me get the rest of steven's got here um she had alligators and tortoises alligate little alligators presumably uh steve what the bloody hell a marine biologist okay that makes sense <laughs> yeah because uh marine biologist in the middle of the country <laughs> not not too much ocean nearby interesting mike how you doing i'm well buddy um i saw yeah i saw you you posted uh yesterday the day before mike you had an interview at b and how did that go buddy do tell. Um, oh, I'll see what uh, Slight got up to earlier. Uh,
Wow, yeah. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> that's, uh... That's funny. Anyway, look at that. Um, Could have gone better. It's, it's very hard to get a perfect interview, Mike. Especially because you've been out of the loop for a little bit. They let you know by the end of the week. There you go. That's all you can do. You, you did you do your best, Mike? I'm sure you did. There we go. They'll either give you they'll either give you an opportunity, or they won't. Um, if they do, excellent. Dive in there. Give you a best shot. If they don't, don't let it get you. All that really means is they had somebody else a, a interview who they felt might have been a better candidate, and that's one less person who's out there in the job market that you've got to compete against. You know? That's the way I think of it. Same as when on the stream, we get someone in here who, like, looks at the stream for a minute and they go, I don't like this guy. That's one less person on Twitch that I have to appeal to. You know? Or if you, uh, you know, I'm a bit out of the loop, but, yeah, you know, you make a move on a lady or a dude, whatever you're into, and they're like, nah, they reject you, and they're just like, nah, I'm not interested in you. You're like, okay, that's cool. You save me some time. Save me some time and energy. I know not to, I don't have to waste any more time and energy on you. Thank you. So just look at it like that, bud. But, you know, fingers crossed. I want fingers crossed for you. Nice and crossed. Nicely crossed. Um, And you never know. End of the week. Everyone's got a different definition of end of the week. End of the week to me is late afternoon Friday. And especially if you business. But I suppose if they're open on the weekends, who knows? They might consider weekends to be included in that but who knows who knows um but guys yeah that was uh parasite eve excellent game really really enjoyed that uh i'll be excited to play the sequel whenever that happens to come around on the for, you know that's up to that's up to the producers not it's not up to me but it's on the list so we'll see what they do with it um of course we'll return tomorrow same time as always i'll try to be a bit more i was i wasn't too late today i was only about 20 minutes late um we're gonna start dragon age 2 um both af and ryan say they prefer it to inquisition i think i preferred inquisition slightly that's just my recollection of it don't misunderstand though just because it's my weakest of the trilogy it's not a bad game by any measure i'm looking and it's been quite a while since i played it so i'm looking forward to it uh obviously a dragon age game is going to be quite chonky but i don't think it's going to be anywhere near as chonky as the first dragon age and certainly not as chonky as red dead redemption so if it's not your kind of thing, you're like, eh, I'm not really feeling that is. Uh, that's fine. I'm sure we'll get through it in short order, relatively speaking, uh, and then move on to something else in the future, whatever that may be. You'll have to stay tuned to see. But, um, oh, let me just, um, in fact, let me change that on our panels. Make sure that's uh, ticked off now, so to speak. There we go. Uh, games list. We are currently playing. We will be tomorrow dragon age two and we have just completed parasite eve boom excellent i keep my uh the completed games list uh alphabetically and for all the games we have on there we've got loads mostly final fantasy uh goes a to f and there's a massive gap between f and p no games alphabetically between F and P in our completed games. I didn't plan that. That's just the way it worked out. Uh, which is a bit random. But um, I'm sure something will turn up to uh, slot itself in there at some point. No doubt about it. Affeline, no, thank you for being here. Th thank you, Seastar. I know, um, Seastar, you joined us when we were playing Red Dead, um, which is obviously you're a big fan of that. So Parasite Eve may not have been your kind of thing. Uh, and maybe Dragon Age is not your kind of thing. But thank you for hanging out anyway. Uh, and no pressure. Um, no, thank you, Scotty. Uh, steadfast uh, Scotsworth. Uh, looking after me there. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Coptimus dropping the lols. Uh, and 10 bitties. Uh, also, yes, the thank yous. Also, thank you to um, Kitty Moonlight for the raid. And uh, Twigsy. Dropping those five gift subs. Hey, casual. How you doing there, buddy? This is when I finished, basically, bud. But I know it's uh for your end of the world, casual. It's it's pretty early, isn't it? But yeah, don't worry about it, bud. It's uh it's a thought that counts, and I get to see your wonderful emotes for a second. So that's that's always good. Uh, yeah, steadfast pain in my ass. 
But, uh, you know, what if I like pain in my ass? Scotty, that's the question, isn't it? That is the question. One of the questions. One of the, one of the many questions. Um, so, you know, um, don't, don't stress yourself, Scotty, is what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, casual, I bet you played Parasite Eve, didn't you, buddy? Don't make assumptions, but I know you've, you've got a very a far reaching and broad taste and knowledge of video games. Um, so there. Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> My first playthrough, we just completed it, and yeah, it was, uh, it was rather good. Yeah, yeah. It's got, yeah, it's definitely got that cult, uh, cult, cult classic following, doesn't it? And understandable. It's, uh, it's just random occurrence that I never got around to it, um, I guess. Yeah, this is what I've been told, casual. Um, people told me that in the know, they said the sequel is nowhere, nowhere near as good as the first game, but it is still worth a go. Uh, and they said the third game in the series, the one that was on the release on the PS PSP, yeah, just it's hot garbage. Just stay the hell away from it. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see how it goes. We got uh, all sorts of things coming up. How was your birthday stream anyway, uh, casual? Was it good, buddy? I did. Um, drop a lurk for a little bit but uh obviously but <laughs> their schedule again isn't it by the time you're getting going i'm gonna bed <laughs> so <laughs> but was it all right uh you only made it 10 hours you say only you're going for 12 you aim for 12 right that's good enough sir don't don't force yourself to do these things because it's like i uh, the only really long stream i've ever done was um I think it was just a random one, rando one. And that was just over 15. And I felt like I... I, was, I felt fine doing it, but... By the, time I got to the, by the time we got to the end, I was super tired. And I felt jank the next two days. Next two days, I was like, oh my god, I've... It's not worth it. I was like, rather than do... <laughs> you know, rather than do like a 15-hour stream every, like, three days better off doing like a five hour stream every day <laughs> the same thing um yeah yeah casual i'm almost there myself sir yeah i, I thought you we were of a similar age buddy yeah you've got a couple of months on me 39 up with my next one uh a few months away but uh yeah it's like that isn't it bud it's um we ain't getting any younger we are not what are we gonna do what are we gonna do here we are we are alive and living so gotta make the best of it but um yeah don't don't beat yourself up you only did 10 bud is as long as you as long as you enjoyed yourself i saw you playing a little bit of turtles game which looks freaking fantastic maybe i'll get on that one day but anyway i need to uh raid us out folks if anybody um uh has a channel points and wants to guide us feel free if not i'll have a little look see us around let me do it let me have a little look so uh, who did we raid and we haven't raided this week we had Metapod and we raided uh, Explosive Barrel. I'm impressed. Hush, hush, hush Twitch homepage. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to be playing your stream. I don't know who you are. Uh, oh, okay. Couple of decent choices here. Immediately cut off the bat there. Is that more than a couple? There's several decent choices here. Um. Decisions, decisions, eh? Um, yeah, it's King Goo Don Noodles doing his art. Uh, there's Raid the Rat. Um, Lupo. Our very own Lupo. Uh, and others. Others who would be very uh, appropriate raids. But I think we shall go and uh, raid Feifu. Feifu tries. She's uh, been on a bit of a, a stream break for a couple of weeks. Um... And she's it's her first day back today. Weird Wednesday. Uh, what's she playing? Ch Chuchel? Chuchel? What the freaking hell is that? Let's go find out. Uh, let's go. Let's go, let's go over to Faye. She's if you don't know, her, she's lovely. Um, and she tries. It's no doubt. Garuda. Garuda. E. It went well, buddy. How you doing, Garuda? Are you well, sir? Are you looking after yourself? You're looking after those kids. No, you're not. I'll say you're looking after the kids. You're on a summer holiday at the minute, aren't you? Um, you've probably got a few couple of weeks before you go back. 
Um, I hope you well, Garuda. Have you, uh, Garuda, have you played Parasite Eve before? Let me ask you that. We just completed it. Uh, also, it was a fairly short game. Spent three three streams on it. Um, starting Dragon Age 2 tomorrow. Uh, and overall, really rather good. Um, I hope you well, sir. School's already started in the middle of August. God, you you guys do stuff differently over there in the uh, in the US, I'll tell you. <laughs> over here, school basically starts up like first or second week of September. You never tried it. So, Garuda, just to, as we're raiding out in a second, just give you the rundown. It's basically take early Resident Evil aesthetic and make it into a relatively simple and basic jrpg but it does have uh, an interesting and uh, intriguing storyline and characters uh it does draw you along nicely um so if you like resident evil type kind of game but more kind of turn-based combat you would definitely enjoy it i'm sure it is, it is interesting it's, it's like a cult classic that i missed out on um but anyway uh i thanked everyone yes i'll return tomorrow folks same time as always I'm going to start Dragon Age 2. I hope to see you there. Any questions? Anyone needs me between now and tomorrow? Discord. Message me. I'm always there. Let's go see Feifu now. She's first stream back in a couple of weeks. Take care, my lovelies. Shooting on map. Hey, isn't it? Hey, welcome on in. <laughs>